That's so cute, y'all. Either better organized, I'm going to literally just look at other people. You guys, he was medium. This is something that we do, and that's why we don't have a good dishwasher here right now. So we mm -hmm. actually, my first official makeup bag that I had, and it has makeup in it, but I'm really thinking versus what I'm probably not gonna keep. Hey guys, thank you for answering today's call. As I see from the title, baby, it's a movie vlog. So we moving, it's up and it's stuck. I have not been on this pole in so long. Like, I don't even remember how to do anything. But guys, I need to hurry up and get this party started. The day started. It's nine o'clock. I went to sleep at two, so I woke up at nine. I don't play about my sleep. If any of you guys didn't know that, I don't play about my sleep. I have to get at least eight hours, but I in it if I can't get eight hours, seven. Six is pushing it. Anything under six, I'm not going. I'm just not going. My alarm's going off right now. So this morning I have a few tours to go. Tour some high rises. I'm moving into a high rise because this is my second apartment that I'm in right now. Let me move one y'all. This is my second apartment that I'm in right now. And this will be my third one that I'm moving to. And I swear I'm gonna stay. I swear I'm gonna stay this time. Literally. Unless like some like I hate it, which I'm not gonna hate it. I'm gonna love it. Um that's the only reason why I would leave. I don't have any more water, guys. Because I make me some tea every morning, so I'm gonna just put the tea. This is ghetto, but don't worry about it. Yeah, but I'm moving into a high rise and I'm excited to tour some today. Ready to see the views, see what they got to offer so we can have some vibes when I move. Anywho, so that'll be my third apartment. I never lived in a high rise before. So the reason why I'm living in one this time is because I'm probably gonna get a house soon and I wanna go ahead and experience high rise living while I'm young, while I'm high, while I'm, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this year, I'm really taking it up a notch with everything that I'm doing. Like I'm starting multiple businesses this year. I am literally just doing everything this year at 21 to really see what sticks. I'm throwing spaghetti at the wall if y'all wanna be. If y'all really want me to be honest, I'm throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Because by the time I'm 35, I'm gonna know what sticks, I'm gonna be doing what sticks, and I'm always gonna do YouTube because I love YouTube with my dearest, nearest heart. So YouTube is never gonna go anywhere. But everything else that I wanna add on top, like I can live off of YouTube, but I don't wanna live off of YouTube. I wanna live off of more than YouTube. I don't know, but that's what we're doing this year, and I feel like upgrading the quality of my home and what I see when I wake up will give me more motivation, especially within the first three months because it's gonna be new to me. Like living in here for the first three months was very new. I was buying things, I was excited. Like I love my house, I love my home. I don't wanna say I grew out of it, but I can feel that I would grow, grow out of it in the second lease. So I'm trying to just go ahead and move and yeah, that's pretty much that. So I'm making my tea for the morning. I'm about to journal, I need a journal. And I need to pray, I have not prayed this morning. So those are things I'm about to do while my tea is brewing over here. And I will see you guys when I'm getting ready to go maybe, cause I'm gonna talk a lot y'all. This vlog's gonna be very talkative because I love to talk and I love to bond with you guys and just be real with you and be open. So that's the vibes right now. Got it, I hope y'all got it. And I'm gonna see y'all in a second cause I really gotta hurry up, let me see. It is currently 9.18. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do my furnished apartment tour inside of a life update video because I plan on doing a life update video too, but I'm gonna start it off with a furnishing tour cause I like my vlogs to be a little longer. So I'm gonna have the tour and then I'm gonna have the Q and A combined for people who don't know me and people who do know me. So that'll be cool. That video is gonna be up before this video. So go watch part one of my movie series. This is part two. And yeah, we're about to get out of here. It's 2.20, I mean 9.20, that's what I was showing you guys. So I have like 30, 20 minutes to really like dress up and leave. I'm done, I already have my lashes out. I did my lashes last night. I'm not gonna do no makeup. Um, I'm just gonna put on like a set. I really am in love with this fashion over set that I keep wearing for the past three days. Y'all can say what you want, I don't care. I keep putting it back on because it's so comfortable and it's cold outside. So I'm going to literally put it on again. Probably just gonna put that back on again and that's the vibe for today. So I see you guys when I get out the shower. Hey guys, so I'm back in my outfit that I love so very much. Okay, can't stop wearing it. But I got this new bag in Miami. <clears throat> I was gonna change, like go and exchange it because I have a big and never full that looks like this, but the inside is pink. That's the only reason why I'm keeping this because the insides are red. If those was red and these was red, I would be returning them. But I don't have a red inside bag, but I really want the monogram. I don't know what it is, but the LV one with dark, but I don't think that's a thing. And I don't like the light color. I just really don't, so. Anywho, let me take all this stuff out. It's gonna be my first 
time wearing this bad baby. So I just need to put my phones in here. My lip gloss can go on my lips. I did not eat breakfast, y'all. I am a, I usually eat breakfast. So I'm going to go get me some breakfast in between time. I'm looking at these apartments, okay? So I don't want this to spill or anything. Boom. My bag. My hair is not done. I'm about to do something real quick to my hair. My tea is still over there. Um, once I do my hair, I'll be ready to go. I need to see how far the place is. Let me do that. Hold on. I'm slow. My phone is in place. Okay. Let's see. 15 minutes away, babe. Y'all see this? 9.52, 13 minutes away. Let's get to this hair. I just need to add some edges. Like, fix my edges back down. Just so it can look like something. My whole slick bag kind of need to be touched up. But it is, but it is. Y'all, I haven't linked up with nobody in weeks. So I feel like I lost my little bit of skill that I gained when I was first going back out meeting people. But, like I said, I did meet two people that I genuinely like. And I'm about to meet somebody else with one of them and a few. And I don't know when exactly, but we're going to um, go out and do like a cute little girls picnic. You know what I mean? So I need to like go buy picnic stuff. When I do events and stuff, I really want them to be cute. I don't just want to be ghetto. Ratchet. And my boyfriend is getting surgery right now. And I wasn't up when he went in. So I don't even know how that's going. For real. My ponytail. Oh lord. The ponytail needs to be cute. He's emailing me. And it's really not getting cute. Y'all, what should I do with this head? Okay, I'm gonna just re- Oh no, who's emailing me? Oh, usually when my email go like that, it's like somebody's trying to scam me. Come on, man. Ponytail. I get my hair straightened again soon because I'm on a, um, a plan with my hair. I'm trying to get it long. This time, I've been cutting it off for the past few years and, and giving myself a bob. So this time, uh -uh, it's crusty. This time, I'm trying to grow it out as long as I, as I can, but I want it to be even all around. So I know I'm going to have to keep cutting it into a bob. Hopefully, it's not like a short bob every time. It's just going to be like just a blunt haircut to get rid of like the see-through end and stuff like that. And I barely wear my hair out, so I feel like it should be pretty good the next time I get straightened. I was going to straighten it every four months. I got it straightened in January, so I'll have to straighten it again in May. Which just don't even sound like something smart. So then it needs to be April. So I might get my hair straight in early April versus May. Because May is going to be hot. Like extremely hot. And that ain't the vibes, honey. I want to wear it for at least a week. So we're going to do April. We're going to do every three months how I'm going to be supposed to. Because that's what her book is saying. Like, like um, every three months get it so pressed so you can get your ends cut. You know. You know the vibes. So I'm probably just going to go in April instead of waiting till May. Because if I straighten it in every four months, I think I'm only getting it straightened three times a year. It'll be January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, we're not twice a year. That's only two times a year. Three times every two years. So me doing... January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah. So I'm going to get it in October, July, and January. January, July, October. <laughs> so three times a year. All right. This is good enough. It's good enough for the vibes. I need to uh, get some perfume. All right. Let's go. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm debating. Maybe April. Because if I straighten it in April, but it's getting hot already. We have like two more weeks left of, what is this month? March. So, a little pushing it. It's going to be hot. And my goal is to have it straightened at least twice in the cold. Last year, I straightened it in September. And it wasn't that cold. It wasn't hot, though. Come on, Hazel. Out, shouty. I need my iPad. No, I don't. So, I like to leave my dog with tv shows some tv to watch because she deserves to watch shows like humans i was gonna go get my um sandals but we're gonna put on these uggs again i wore this exact outfit the other day don't care it's platform uggs because my jacket is very long it's on the ground so i want to like try to add some height so it doesn't just drag on the floor i want to get her some better food to eat this is generic she deserves more she deserves better food than that. So, now I don't have any water, but I do have to take my morning supplements real quick. 
Boom, got my tea. Then here goes my supplements. Today is Wednesday, so I just need to take a few. Also gonna bring some batteries too. I'm sad I didn't eat breakfast, but I don't really have time and I can't really force it, so. All right, it's time to head out. I'm gonna give her a treat before I leave or give her extra treats. I'd like to give her a few. exactly where I live at. Like, it's cool you know the building. Not even, not this building. This building is too easy to get into. It's only five floors, so. Let's go, y'all, let's go. I gotta hurry, I know I'm late, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Luckily, they open up at 10, and who really wants to do a tour right when they open up? It's literally crazy how it was just warm outside. It was just warm outside, now it is cold. Like, what type of mess is that? My car is still cold, y'all. I already know, you don't have to tell me, but we gotta go. Get this tour out the way, get these tours out the way, so I can go see my gookie dookie after his surgery. And let me drink my tea, so it's gonna be warm. Oh, all right, y'all, comment down below W's in the comment section if you guys are excited about this moving series like I am. We're really about to like, sh I'm really about to show y'all some things, cause I don't know. I like doing moving series, they're fun. I was just a bit stressed out the other day, like yesterday, about like, everything that's on my plate to do. But now that I've moved on and I'm filming this series, I feel a lot better now. I still gotta edit my vacation vlog, which y'all, that vlog, y'all, is old. Mm -hmm. Right, well, by the time you see it. That vlog is old and I still haven't edited it as of March 20th and we got back March 7th. So that tells you something. It's been like two weeks now. That was fast, that was just fast. <sighs> so yeah, you girls out here, I really gotta edit that. But I'm gonna get that done this week. I gotta edit the content for the brand or the hotel. I plan on scripting that today. So once it's scripted today, that's pretty much it. The scripting is the hardest part. Like how I want to talk about it and what I want to say without sounding like too salesy. And uh, you know, I just want to sound good. I want to sound normal so that I can get um, people to actually go. That's always my goal is how can I get people to go to this place? Or how can I get people to buy this product versus just talking? So that's that. And I'll see you guys at the tour because I'm going to listen to some music. 12 minute drive and it's always traffic like right outside my house. That's why I'm not really too upset about living in the city because I know it's going to be traffic outside of my house. But I mean it's traffic outside my, my house right here. And I live in the city now but living in the like buildings and stuff. And I'm probably going to be driving out of the city majority of the time. Then when I'm in it, it might take me like a few minutes to get to place. But anyway, we're going to see how it goes. And like I said, I just want to live in a high rise for at least one year before I go townhouse. That was the thing. I didn't want to move into a townhouse before living in a high rise. And I didn't want to live in a high rise in 2025. For what reason? I really don't know. I don't know why. I just didn't wait till next year to move into a high rise. I think because once I leave this apartment, I want to go to a townhome. I didn't want to go to another apartment. Because if I would have stayed at this apartment for two years, I would have staying in an apartment for two years. And when I go to the high rise and I stay in the high rise for um, a year, I might move into a townhouse that following year. I probably won't though. So I'm probably going to be living in an apartment two years anyways. So two years versus three. I don't really know the math no more. It made sense at first, but now that I'm really thinking about it, I really could um, have just waited another year at my current place and then moved into a high rise um, next year. Cause I'll be 22 next year. But now I'm gonna just spend two years in a high rise instead. Yeah, the math ain't really mathing, huh? But what if I would have loved the high rise and then I want to stay there for more than a year? Like this following year, what if I want to stay there longer? Than a year, and so I would have been staying there for two, three years, and then getting a house or a townhouse. But I really want to move into a townhouse after next year, for the year after the the year after next year. Yeah, clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm really trying to figure it out uh, to make it make sense. Cause I could really stay in my apartment. Like this move, I could be scratched now. But I already in a groove, and so my goal was only to live in an apartment. That's what it is. My goal was to live in an apartment two more years. So it would be one year where I'm at and one year in a high rise. And that next year, um, 2025, 
I wanted to move into a townhouse, which I think would be a good move down because the townhouse is expensive, but my high rise is more expensive than the townhouse. So I'll be very happy to move down and get more from the high rise to the new, new. Cause I'm going straight in two bedroom, top dollar for a year. Hopefully I like it. If I love it, I'm probably gonna stay for two years. If I want to go townhouse, then I'll try. I just move again next year, which that means I would have moved one, two, three, four times in four years. That means I moved every year. Fun fact, when I moved out, I moved out at 19, I thought it was normal for you to move every year. But no, people renew their leases and stay places for a long amount of time. Like some people I know moved into their first apartment and they still live in their first apartment two, three years later. I did not know you're not supposed to move every time. So I figured it out this time around, this apartment I'm in now. Because my goal was the apartment I'm in now, I want to stay here for two years at least meaning this year, next year. And then the following year, I wanted to move into a townhouse. So if I would've just stayed this year and next year where I'm at, third year where I'm supposed to go townhouse, I would've wanted to go high rise. Cause once I go townhouse, I'm not going back to like an apartment. Like that's done, that's done. There'll be no more. So I feel like it is the time to experience a high rise, period. Because I wanna go townhouse, I wanna go soon, but I feel like I'm probably gonna like the high rise and I'll probably litter for two years. Especially if the year goes fast, how this year at this current apartment went like, speedy fast for like two years is a, is a good time to actually stay somewhere to really get a feel for it my first apartment i just didn't like the neighbors below me i didn't like how thin the walls were i didn't like the stairs i wanted the elevator i didn't like the location i had to move i had to move there but now in my new apartment i love the location it has an elevator i ain't tripping it got a parking garage it's easy to take hazel out but there are some cons such as like safety i walk hazel on the street like the busy street the main entrance street and it's really easy to just recognize me and see me so that's a really really big con that i was just telling you guys about another con is i don't like any of the amenities i don't use any amenities none not even the pool because when it was hot outside and i went up to that pool y'all it was pool parties every day and that's even more like oh hell no nah, these people might know me on the internet and know where i live at like that's just a really big safety problem so and it was my last resort apartment anyways when i was moving last year like i really had to find somewhere quick and that was the place I found that approved me fast and got me in. So but I ended up really liking it. I didn't have no I don't have no cons for real. I do still have a key for my door and it was supposed to be a five, but they really bamboozled me with that. I think I'm paying extra for a smart home and I don't have no doubt smart home. That's for one. Yeah, it's just really the amenities and I pay a lot. Like if when I move, I might just be paying an a thousand, an additional thousand. But that additional thousand is for all the game nights I could do, the pool parties I want to throw, or not even throw, but being at the pool, the content I'll be able to create, the pictures I'll be able to create, because it's a secure apartment. You know, I want to live in a high rise where it's secure. Can't nobody just come in and out. I really probably can't even do no pool party because the concierge in the front desk probably not going to let that be a thing. Just having like random people come, I know that's going to be not at a problem unless I'm like hosting an event and I tell them about the events probably they cap on the amount of people stuff like that but yeah how many people gonna do that in there paying all that rent the people living there are high quality tenants they not out here trying to just do stuff so that's my little TED talk my little rant so my camera about to die and I'm about to get to the tour so you saved the best for first <laughs> All right, so a little bit about the building. We do have 24 7 concierge, which is really nice. It's all about that white glove service. We don't allow any Uber Eats drivers, um, any packaging people up on the elevators. We actually have the concierge drop up to your door for you. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do have a mail room. The package room is right behind concierge because, you know, they usually bring all that stuff to your door. Um, and everything here is open 24 7, which is nice. So we're going to go check out our rooftop pool and everything. Okay. Do. Yes, yeah, so we're going to check out all that. Yeah, so every single home is going to be coming to install with a nest, as you can tell right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then your washer dryer is going to be right here in the hallway. Okay. It's going to be full size. And then actually something that we do, and that's why we don't have like a dishwasher in here right now. So we actually treat out the fridge, um, the microwave, and the dishwasher. I think every single time somebody moves out, okay. you know, that's the stuff that gets really used in nitty gritty. So we like to trade all that out. <laughs> this is one of my favorite homes, because it does have the window, you know, corner wall, which I love. Mm -hmm. Um, and we go all the way down to the floor. What do you think of this so far? I like it. Do yeah. you have it on a higher floor, I think? We do. They're usually going to, on the higher floors, they're going to start around 43. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then one of my favorite things about the room as well is the standalone bathtub. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. You're going to have your walk-in closet right over here for you. Just a great size. So what do you think is pretty? Yeah? Do you like this one so far? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is right at 3863 with the two month special that really knocks it down even more. Mm -hmm. um, even though you know it is on level 7, you can still see all of it. I still think it's great views. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Oh, do you like to cook a lot? I'm kind of. Kind of? Okay. Well, then we're kind of. It's good that we have restaurants all around here, but we also do have the guest stoves, which is really nice. It's yeah. hard to find that in Atlanta. I've lived here for 10 years. So that is, we know we have our over to table as well. And of course, you will have your soft clothes drawers as well. Yes. Nice. It's so cute, huh? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then it closes softly. Yep, soft clothes. And then you're going to have your second bedroom over here. This unit is really, really good. If you want to make this like a guest bedroom or like an office space. Um, yeah, and then you'll have your closet in the hallway. There you go. Okay. All right. And then you're going to have your second bathroom, which has the two doors. So just in case if you have somebody, you know, coming over, you can like kind of lock that space off and they can still mm -hmm. use the bathroom. Do you have any questions about this one so far? No, I love it. Wait, this is getting really cool. This is where we do most of our resident events. Uh, we do about three to four a month. So we'll have like one big event and we'll do a couple small ones. Like every um, Wednesday, I actually do happy hour cocktails for my residents. Mm -hmm. I used to bartend on Anna, so I actually do that myself. <laughs> um, and then I, the last one we had for last year, um, last month was we actually had a whole jazz band come in, which was really cool. Oh, yeah. We had a catered bartender, so we did like that really cute like Valentine's Day jazz like mm -hmm. event. And then, of course, you have all the pitch on this way. So if you're, you're definitely going to have that 360 degree views. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Then we'll go out this way. Please open up. You moving in here um, right around May, like June is actually a really good time. Mm -hmm. So when we start our summer pool parties. Mm -hmm. So we do about three um, every single summer. So we'll have like our beginning, the mid, and then the end. And we'll either have like a DJ or a band out here, of course, get a cater, do theme, to come and just kind of hang out. The vibe here is definitely very boutique. It's kind of very relaxing, as mm -hmm. you can see. It's pretty. It's starting to feel great out here. Mm-hmm, finally. I know, right? All right, and this is, of course, you have Stone Mountain. Hot City Market is right over here. Uh, this is where we have our girls, and then you can tell. So we're about to replant as of next week. We just wanted this last little cold spell to get through. But you can see where we um, had our mint last year. It's already starting to pop back up. <laughs> so we usually do, like, uh, green peppers, jalapenos, habaneros, rosemary, cilantro, parsley, and mint. Okay. And it's really fun because, you know, the residents can come up here. They can cook with it. They can pick mm -hmm. it to, like, make cocktails. And it just adds, you know, a little bit of life to, like, a luxury high-rise in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, the more of like the stone mountain views and more greenery over the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you think of it so far? I love it. Yeah. I like that you can see everything. It's so nice, right? Open 24 7 as well. Definitely, we have all the things you might need. Something I always like to pull out, especially for the girlies, so that we do have the Stairmaster. <laughs> I know that we love it. And this is it. We actually just got into the budget as well to kind of. Um, you know, get newer stuff in here as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're actually going to get one of the Eklon mirrors in here, which is going to be really cool. I don't know if you know what that is, but mm -hmm. it's a mirror that has a trainer inside of it. And oh, wow. it has like 250 um, different classes. Okay. So that apartment was nice. It was really nice. It's very small. Even the um, units were small. The gym was really small, but the rooftop little area was the best thing. I was really, 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 really nice. And yeah, that was pretty cool. They're expensive to not offer a lot though. Like the higher floors was starting at 4,000. I was on the seventh floor and that was high as hell. But the higher floors are even higher like crazy. So yeah, now I'm at this next apartment. Um, I'm early. My appointment's at 11. It's 1040. I am just going to go ahead and go in there. So hopefully we can start sooner. I don't have my ID though. I don't have my ID. I have a picture of my ID. I don't have my physical ID. Hopefully they still let me do it. So we're just going to see. Because the first place, I didn't have no, I didn't need no ID. They didn't even ask me for my shit. So, you know, most apartments I tour do ask for the ID. Let's go ahead and see what the second one is talking about. Um, it's not really anyone here, but I called them. He sounded a bit rude. And then I called again and he didn't answer. So that's something you little suspect. So, so let's go ahead and go here. Oh my, I fell walking to the other one. I just fell again. It's these stupid shoe dead platforms. So like they easily fall off the side. Very irritating. But let's go in here. It looks cute. It looks cuter in here. This has more like places to be. And I 
I am early, so I, hope, I might just have to sit here for 20 minutes, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna see. We're gonna see the vibes. Okay, I need my ID. I need my ID. He's 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 just he's not rude. He just don't. He's not a good front desk person. Anywho, um, I'm about to go home and get my ID because I do need that thing anyway. So making me mad that I have to backtrack though. And I live I live 11 minutes away. I'll just go back home and then come. I'll go there and come back. Boo. Is there a certain amount of square feet or a price Is this me? This is like a hotel. I don't like these loud ass things. Toy totally bed. Yeah. This is a small. This one is small. What is this called? This is outside area. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, that one, that one was straight, but I'm about to go ahead and head home because my booby is out of surgery and um, he's in pain. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna go get him something to eat too because he wasn't eating. So he probably about to go to sleep now. And then I'm gonna see if they texted him so that I can pick up the prescription for him. So I'm gonna see what that is. Like once I get closer over there, I'm gonna call Davo and see but yeah i'm not going to the third place it's fine i'll just go like later on or i won't go at all i hope y'all got some good little insight on some apartments those was two of them did i really i like the first one more than the second one the second guy was a little bit more like like i said he was like real like i want it to be not edited for real because he it was just like pure silence like it was silence and no meow that wasn't cute no yeah, probably because he didn't know me, but he was talking to the other residents nice. I just feel like when you talking to a new one, you should be speaking to them nice. Yes, maybe. Um, so yeah, um, not gonna go with that second one. The first one is up on the table, but probably not either. And I'm probably gonna go with the apartment that I already toured probably like a month ago. I already got approved and all of that stuff. But I still wanted to like look around a little bit. So from looking at those two, ain't nothing better than what I already picked or what I already like. And the service is way better at the new place because it's new. It hasn't even been open for three months, I think, or four months now. So it's been like open for two months, like two to three months. So that's really good. And yeah, I'm about to go here and pack up so that I can head over to his house. 
so that he could be okay. And I gotta bring my salmon with me because I gotta cook my salmon. That's what I wanna eat for dinner. Yeah, that's the vibes we got. So I'm gonna go pack up shop. I just need to pack two outfits. I gotta pack up my dog. I gotta pack up hair stuff. I need to hurry up though so I can get to his house before one or right at one because that's what my Zoom call is. I might have to get on my call in the car, but either way it goes, it's fine. I just need to, um, I don't wanna be right here. Either way it goes. I gotta get that out the way, so hopefully we can get that done quick. Um, I'm probably gonna do the call like in his driveway or something like that, so I don't have to wake him up because hopefully he's asleep. And so when I walk in there, we're gonna see. Probably gotta do the meeting in the car though, which is perfectly fine by me. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. So I will catch you guys a little later. That's it. We can talk a little bit more, but I'm a little sad though. I'm a little sad. I need gas too. I gotta hurry up. But as long as I'm like stopped and parked somewhere by one fine because the place he lives very far from the city so it's at least like an hour away and it's delayed it's getting later so it's just gonna get later and later i might get him some type of soup i might get him some chicken tortilla soup i don't know some crackers something because i know he ain't ate all day so that's the vibes guys i'm about to call my mama and ask her for some advice because she gets surgery so baby what you be wondering when you wake up man <laughs> what you be wanting let me know but i'm saying baby i don't like that I don't like that at all. Girl, I got my hair did. I done did a whole lot, a whole lot of, and I ain't show none of y'all, cause just a lot. I really, I went to a game night, I didn't vlog. I didn't vlog, cause I don't know, I don't, I just didn't. <laughs> Who wants to see people scream? I don't know, that's just not the type of vibe I'm trying to give at the moment, so. I didn't vlog that, cause I knew how that was gonna go. And uh, I also got my hair did yesterday or the day after. And I didn't vlog that because I didn't have my camera. So I didn't even. But I did like a reel. And yeah. So what I really got is this boho bob. It's kind of stiff because I just got it done yesterday. But this is the vibes. I cut it. It was longer. I cut it because I wanted it shorter. This is cool. I'm probably going to cut it again. I'm probably going to shape it. Um, But like sh cut this off. I just want to make sure that I don't cut my real hair. I don't even think my real hair is this long. So it should be fine. But I booked this loft type of. It's not even a loft. But I booked this place that has like different sets and stuff. Which is super smart. I would open one of these y'all. I kid you not. I would open one of these and I think it would do really good. I really think it would do really good. I might look into that. I really want to look into that. And I don't want it to be too much crazy stuff going on. Like, I want to lease, just like how this person's probably leasing here. This could be a hair salon. This could be a nail salon. But they made this. So that's the vibe I think I'm going to get into. Only thing is, like, I'm going to do that later on. Right now, I'm trying to secure the digital revenue, the digital wealth. And then this is going to be in addition. Because I know this is going to be a lot of hard work. And I don't got that in me right now, baby. The mental capacity, no. But I am going to vlog this process. So you guys might be wondering, girl, what are you even doing? Or it might be my title, I don't know. But I just hit 100K on my business page. And I hit $100,000 in sales on my digital page. For my digital products business. So if y'all ain't selling digital products yet, get into it. Okay. Get into it. Okay, let me. I hate when they give it to me with it already in the sky. Like it's already up. Because when it's already up, it just gets tangled. And who wants So how I think I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put the balloons behind the couch. I'm gonna put the like, these things behind the couch just to give it, y'all gonna see, I'm gonna just show y'all. Okay, so we got the one. I'm gonna do it like this. Zero, okay, yeah, don't play. That's so cute, y'all. Okay, let me go to my car real quick. I'm really just gonna move my car because I parked all the way down to the wrong spot. So hold on. All right, y'all. So I went to the car, couldn't find anything, but I have this and it's a car mount. If I could just get this on like a stool. They got stools over here. This is too low. It needs to be like this high, bro. Like what? What else can I do? I was thinking maybe I could put it on here. But I can't, I can't figure out how. Oh, I just put this bookshelf. I put the bookshelf right there. We're going to try to make something work. I got an hour in here. So let's go ahead and get this stuff on a roll. For real, for real. Let me go ahead and make my practice shoots. How is this going to look? 
Hey you guys! So I edited a vlog and my camera quality look a little fuzzy. Do this still look weird? I need to sit down and chat with y'all for a second cause your girl is like really going through it right now, bro. I got a life update video coming out soon. It might come out in my vlog that I just filmed. That might make more sense. Just have it in the same vlog. Whatever. But let me set y'all down real quick and chat just for a second because your girl looks like my brain about to explode. So as you guys know, I'm moving. There's so many clips that I don't even know if I'm going to include in this vlog because I have these boxes. I vlogged that. I tried to pack a little bit the other day. Yeah. No, me, I'm nowhere near ready to pack, yo. Y'all, today I'm going to declutter. Today I'm decluttering and I'm going to be throwing away a lot of trash and things like that and having a giveaway pile so I can have everything ready to go so when I do pack I can have people help me pack and it'll be a lot easier to just get this stuff going I got big boxes only I didn't get any medium boxes but I think I'm probably gonna go back for medium boxes for more so of the really heavy things because I have the whole kitchen in a big box and it just seems extremely too heavy um for one person to pick up so anyways y'all what am I gonna say y'all I just got home after a long period of time literally all about a week i haven't been home in about a week hey what you doing and when i say home i mean like actually sleeping here and being here um a lot has been going on i'm gonna have all that in my life update this video is gonna come out after the life update so i ain't gonna talk your head off if y'all really want to know like how you girl really truly feeling go watch my life update vlog video it should be the video before this one but we are packing we are moving i just got home from kroger i bought some plastic bags because i don't want to use my good bags to throw away trash i just got a big bag of kroger bags kroger brand bags so that i could just throw away things that i just don't need um and then i also have a meeting tonight and tomorrow i have to film some videos for my mentorship i have been a little bit late as of lately so we're gonna get everything together but i do want to show you guys the house the house looks completely like off the hinges but today that is my plan i'm about to drink a smoothie um i also need some dinner i packed all my pot pan pots and pans but i'm about to unpack the pots and pans because like i told you guys i'm probably gonna put it in a more of a medium-sized box than these big large ones let me show you so I got these really, really, really big boxes. I don't know if y'all can even tell how big they are, but they're huge. This is the box with the majority of the kitchen stuff. And it's just stupid heavy and I feel like it's going to bust. This just doesn't look smart at all. So we're going to get some of this stuff out so that I can cook dinner and breakfast and things like that. Nothing's in these bottom things except under the sink. There is some things at the top. Look at how my supplements and stuff still in here. And then and there is my, that's my pantry. And then the fridge, of course, staying in there. But I don't move until two weeks. So I do want to start packing places that I don't use. I watched the video and it was like, start packing places that you don't use. So I don't use my office. So I think I'm going to start in my office room and get that more appealing. So when I move, I correlate work with my office and not my bed, not my living room. You know what I'm saying? I started to work in my living room because I'm watch TV while I work. So when I move, I need to get a TV in my office. I have a TV just sitting in my room that's supposed to go in the office, but it never got mounted. So that's the goal with that. And this tv a whole lot going on when i move i'm probably gonna put this tv on an actual stand versus having it mounted on a wall um because where i'm gonna move at it's really big windows and i don't want my couch to be on the wall like like it's a corner unit so all of this is window you know what i'm saying then i have right here i can mount the tv right here and have my couch just sitting out in the middle of the floor but i kind of still wanted it to be kind of open i might consider that but i feel like when i watch the tv you're gonna see behind me the big sun and the tv gonna have a glare like even now this tv has a whole entire glare imagine that but all behind me like i don't find that fun at all so i'm going to try to but shit, even here you can still see. You can still see everything. So I don't know. We're really gonna see when we get there. Those are my two options with that. Um, and I need to book the movers and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna restart, repack, and we're gonna start in the office. But that's after we go through everything. Whew. So today I think I'm gonna focus on trash. We're getting trash out. Um, so the trash people can come. Put my trash in the hallway. I think today's Thursday. They still supposed to come tonight. They don't come on Saturdays. So they really don't. Come. They come when they want to come. Truthfully. All right, y'all. So I am currently in my office about to start pack well getting rid of trash for decluttering in here because i know half of this stuff i have not even touched so as you guys can see this is the room a freaking hot mess for real for real when i move like i have to make it my duty to clean my house every night there cannot be a day where i don't straighten up my house at night i was doing that here um but it just all goes away like i don't even know i just need to have the habits wherever i am at 
you know, like if I'm here. Somebody house, don't matter. I need to always have the same habit to live. I'm so excited to move because now no one knows where I live again. I think I'm gonna get a new number. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new number too, cause uh, uh. Like I got a new number at the beginning of 2023 and safe to say a lot of people don't have my number. But I did end up giving my number to a few people, like a few older people like previously and then I gave it to some new people and it's just like I just don't like when people know anything about me you don't even know a fucking thing about me anyway maybe that's my toxic trait I just don't like I don't want to say I don't like people but I don't really like people to be honest and I don't really know why because I used to like people when I was younger I think this is what happened I feel like when I was in high school I was more on the friendly side like I had friends I think I just I don't really know like people still didn't like me but I did have more friends then and so I kind of like tweaked myself a bit like oh I really think it's a trauma response for me to not talk to people like that and I have broken out of that um this year I feel like I have done a pretty decent job at that I'm really selective with who I like to talk to and get my time to I'm not as forgiving and I'm not as I'm not like I was because I got I felt like I got like betrayed in a way and it really hurt and I just could never let myself do that like with me you get one time okay I need to do the trash you get one time so now I'm kind of like I'm an introvert I'm more watchy I kind of dissect that's crazy that I'm saying that, but it's true because it only happens when I get a red flag I don't just come into something like you know I kind of just be free I let it go with the flow which I think I'm about to change I don't know but I don't really like it but I just want to get the numbers okay that's the truth that's the truth of the matter I just really wanted a number I want a new house I want a new car I want a new life I want to shed like a snake it's so I love shedding it just feels so good like leaving things in the past it's something that I really enjoy and I I've always been like that but like it's extreme now like I have one friend from high school or middle school one you probably have ten like seven three Two. I have one. Like, can we be something real? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's me and shit. It is what it is. Okay, so here goes the outfit that I want to keep. So all the things I want to keep, I'm going to put in this bag right here. And then take it in my other room. So I have some beauty blenders. I definitely want to keep these. I want to use them. I have pajama shorts. Keep. I have a blanket in here that says 21 and fabulous. <laughs> I'm going to keep it even though I really never used it. Here goes a cup. Do this have BPA made without BPA? Okay. Okay, I can use this. I'm going to put this. It's a gift. See, that's the problem. I don't want to keep this because it's a gift. This is trash right here. So we're going to keep all of this stuff. This. I really got to go through my clothes, but as far as those clothes, I'm going to keep this. Oh, where did this come from? It's just a fashion over white top. I'm going to keep that. Um, what is this right here? Here goes this bag. Pads, bra, perfume, jewelry. Now, as far as this bag, am I going to keep this actual bag? Let's see. No, I'm not keeping it. So, this is giveaway. <sighs> What's this? I could use this when it's back cold outside. That's what the video also said. It said to pack your winter clothes and the things that's like, because right now it's getting spring. It's spring. So, a lot of this stuff is going like I'm not gonna be wearing it. Here goes this robe for Valentine's Day. I also am like trying to move away from like not wearing clothes for real life. I wanna dress more grown and I have done a hell of a good job at that. Since between last like 2024 quarter quarter four and 2024 quarter one, the dressing, like me dressing has completely like shifted. I do dress a lot more clean, like grown, elevated type of look. And then when it comes to like lingerie and things like that, I'm trying not to do that. I mean, I'm not single, so it's okay. But when I am single, like none of that, I am throwing away all of my TMI, by the way, if you're new here, sorry. It's just being real. I'm throwing away all of my sexual toys and things like that because I really get convicted a lot about that so i'm just gonna throw those away i don't need them babe i really don't they're just there i never bought them i've never bought a toy in my life actually i got two as a gift years ago and then i got how many of them more from youtube sponsorships so i'm gonna go ahead and let those go i have a like, lot of them for real y'all i'm not even trying to like cook out of my business but there is a lot of them a lot of them so okay <laughs> here goes this out 
out fit. This is ugly. Like, I got it from Fashion Nova and it's ugly. So, do I give it away? You're not supposed to give away, like, stuff like this. So, it's going to be trash. This is trash. This is trash. This is cute. This is so super cute things. All of this is cute. This makes my brain feel a lot better that I'm not packing, like, impulsively. And, like, my brain hurts because it's, like, so much stuff. As I did when I was packing the other day. I'm so happy. I'm getting to move. I am going to be paying more rent, but it is what it is because I make a lot more. Now, I like to live below my means, guys. I don't like to live above. That's, like, scary. Or even within the means is crazy to me. Because, like, you never know. What if something happens? So, I kind of like to keep things under my control in a way. Like, I don't, like, do stupid things. So, yeah. I have curtains in here. I mean, not curtains. What are these called? Hangers. Also, when I move, so I'm moving to a Florida the window. Place. I got these blue curtains up here that I really love. What do people do with items that they can no longer use at their new house? Because like these curtains, they're not like, I don't think I'm going to be able to put them up. I really don't. I don't know. Let me show y'all. They literally are on a rod. But I feel like I should keep them because when I move into a house, I'm, I'm always going to love blue. So I feel like this can go in my home office like when I move home. To my home home. You know what I mean? So I kind of need like a storage type of thing where it's things that I can't use now. But I will probably use when I move. But then when I move, when I just buy new things, like you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like holding on to things that I really don't need. What do I do? Can y'all comment down below, please? If you watch this far, you know what I should do. Whether I put it in storage. Like, what should I do? Don't just sit and watch me and look at me. If you know, if you don't know, then cool. You don't have to say anything. But if you really have an idea, like put it in storage, take it to my mom's house, take it to my dad's house, what it is. But when I move to a house, am I gonna forget about it at my mom's or my dad's house? Like, does it really make sense? Help me out, okay? Because I'm really trying to figure it out. I don't know. Also, when I move, I want to start using my desktop again. I used to use it for about two weeks, and then I never used it again. And I really love this thing. I feel like I could really use it um, as long as I correlate work with my office instead of using my laptop for everything. You know what I'm saying? I use my laptop and edit on my couch or my bed. Whatever the case may be, when I need to be using it on this desktop, okay? And also when I move, I need a vanity. Like I have a whole new setup I want to do in my office. I want to have my desk and then it facing in front of me, the windows in front of me or next to me. And then I want my vanity. Y'all, I don't know. We're going to figure it out when we get there. <laughs> but we just decluttering right now. Getting all the things out of here that don't need to be in here. That I don't use and I'm not going to take. Instead of just holding on to trash. So that's the vibes right now. Uh, I do want to talk y'all through it because I feel like... I don't know why, I just feel like a montage of me decluttering is just not cute. I really have to be getting all the angles. This is a sock. I'm gonna keep that sock. But I'm not trying to stress myself out. I'm not trying to overdo it. Like, all I really want to do today is declutter and get trash out. For real, for real. And like, get things situated. I know my closet, that closet right there is gonna be crazy. I know this tiara that I have right here has been there. A lot of stuff I didn't even unpack. I left them in the boxes from when I moved here. That's been over. 11 months now, crazy, that clearly, oops, that wasn't trash, that's giveaway. My mom wants this, I need to bring this to my mother. She needs a scale, here goes my planners, for sure keeping these. Here goes some index cards, notebook, computer charger, honey bag. All right y'all, so I'm just trying to get this together. I guess I could show you guys this part. finished decluttering this room i'm not sure if i showed you guys yesterday it's the next day bt dubs but all of this is take i think in there it's still some more trash but everything else i am taking with me um it's a lot more simpler now and then i just have to get into packing this will be the first room that i do pack um i decluttered this room i decluttered the kitchen the other day i threw away like all the things not anything in the fridge everything in the fridge is going away 
and trash but um i threw away some of the supplements that i don't take anymore don't plan on even taking or needing i threw away some kitty cups that i'm not going to be using i threw away some tupperware because i don't like plastic tupperware i threw away things out of the pantry that i haven't touched that i haven't ate there is another part of the pantry i didn't clean yo though it's high up and i didn't have a stool so that's what i have to do left in the kitchen and then today i'm going to declutter the bathrooms my bathroom and this bathroom right here and then tomorrow i'm going to declutter my room we're gonna go ahead and do my room <laughs> we're gonna start with clothes so we're gonna have a giveaway pile and we're gonna have a yeah we're not selling anything we're just gonna have a giveaway pile okay and my friends can come and go through anything in there and see if they want to take anything and then the rest of it is going to simply go to goodwill or to a homeless shelter or something like that that's my plan for my bedroom my clothes is really the big thing that i have to declutter and i'm not taking my dresser with me so i have to figure out how i'm gonna get the dresser in the trash i gotta figure out who's gonna take my tvs down i want to see like if i get a tv mounter would he be okay with taking them down and then when we get to the place putting them up i don't know how that's gonna work but we're gonna see we're gonna look at look on task rabbit i think that's where people be doing at it and i feel like that'll be pretty cool um i could hire him for two tasks truthfully if he want to take them down he want to go home and then when everything's set he come back and put them up we'll do that so i'm probably gonna do that on there i don't want to ask my stepdad again i ask him every time i move not that he probably has a problem with it but i don't know i just don't want to ask him i don't know i really don't know i see it but my mom thinks and what else yeah i did put it in my closet so now i realize why half of the stuff in this closet i never touched babe because it's memory stuff that's what i think i told y'all yesterday like i need to get a storage unit and put that stuff in there because babe i don't use it just sits in my house as if i have a house like that's what you have in houses i live in an apartment baby i'm 20 i forgot i'm 21 and it's just like i have all these memory things that i don't even touch and it takes up space in my home so that's the true reason on why i always get two bedrooms i always thought i got two bedrooms because i just had too much stuff which that is true but the stuff that's in this closet i don't need uh, if i could get a one bedroom with a really big closet i would be set i would be set and even i know i'm gonna have a coat closet that's why i put like my games and my brooms and mops and stuff like that <gasps> but i don't know how i'm gonna go from a two bedroom to a one bedroom like the that living room in the one bedroom has to be like huge because i still want an office space i don't know what it is about it i just like to mentally know that i have an office period point blank i in my brain i think that i have visitors every week and i need them somewhere to sleep like that's just in my brain it's not true at all but yeah, so that's the vibes right now, and I have a lot to do. It just feels like a lot, but I'm taking it a day at a time. That's why I'm only doing bathrooms today, just to keep it a light load on myself. And once I'm done decluttering my room, we're going to come back into this room and begin packing. We're going to start packing this room up and getting everything situated. Um, As far as this monitor, like, does that go, like, what do I do? Do I just leave that and they take it? I'm thinking I probably want to take it myself. Like, I want to take things that I care about myself with me in my car <clears throat> but as far as everything on top of the counter obviously can go in a box and then they're gonna take the actual desk and yeah i just need to get to packing truth be told i don't really feel comfortable with just having the large boxes that i did go with i feel like i do need medium sizes like i need to get medium sized boxes so that's what i'm about to do but i just came here to let you guys know give you guys a quick little update i'm about to get ready to go get acupuncture um i had two sessions this will be my third i missed last week i truthfully don't think it's doing anything um i haven't even been eating the best this past week because i wasn't at home which is a habit oh, i hate that a habit that i really don't like at this house i mean when i'm not at home like when i'm not at home all my good habits <clears throat> kind of go out of the window i don't know like when i'm here i just feel more productive i feel like doing more and i just get a lot more things done than the other way so yeah y'all <clears throat> about to take a shower let's get it let's get it let's get it so i need to do my laundry before i declutter my room right or like not too much after because a lot of my clothes in the wash and stuff is going to be taken out as well so i am excited to do this move uh originally when i first was moving it was very impulsive and like why am i moving but now i really feel like moving i feel a layer of skin shedding again in this first quarter of the year because like no ew no gotta shed babe gotta restart recuperate re refresh that's exactly what we're doing so yeah come with me on this journey i'm gonna love my next apartment my only big con that i'm scared about is like the fact of getting in and out of the apartment like is it gonna be hard 
And is it on that street? Like, oh, there's a, a really busy street that is on my apartment street, and it's a one way. So I will always have to come out that way and get back in that way. And baby, no, like, it's gonna be time frames that I don't go home because I don't wanna sit in that traffic. I don't. So we're gonna see how that goes, what we really gonna do about all that. But I really am excited to move though. I feel like it's gonna elevate me. Overall, I'm gonna have so much more energy, so much more motivation because I wake up to big ass windows every day and I see the sky and the sun every day and I see the world every day. Here, I don't see the world every day, I see the same piece of, sh piece of road. So it's just like I know it's gonna be a whole different vibe, a whole different scene. And living there for a year, we'll see if I love it or hate it. I think I'm gonna love it, but I'm gonna hop in the shower. <coughs> And I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit when I get out. Y'all don't wanna see me go to my appointment, so I'm not taking y'all to the appointment or anything like that. It's not that long anyway. It's about 30 minutes in total. I'm gonna get there at 1, be out by 1.30, be home around 2. So I'll be back home. I already plan my whole day out on my iPad. I like to plan my days out just to get a gist of the amount of time I truly have, and it really works. So I'm um, about to hop in here and get out real quick. I have to leave soon, so I'm just talking my head off right now. Hey guys, just use the bathroom, by the way. But we're on to the next task of the home declutter the bathrooms. It's currently 9 p.m. I did have a really good Saturday. Ever since I got my acupuncture, it really freed my mind. Like, the second time I had it, I didn't really feel any different. The first time I felt different, the second time I didn't. It so put a bad taste in my mouth. I missed the third one. It got rescheduled to today, and so I had my third appointment today on the fourth week. It's supposed to be six weeks only, so I have three more appointments. Today was a really good day. Like, I don't know what it was about it. She added extra points in my body. So I really think it's helped a bit. And we're just going to keep it on track for the weeks to come. But what I just came up with in my head, when I move, and because I am not good at organizing. I personally don't think I'm good at organizing. I organize to the point where it makes sense to me. Let me get a plastic. I organize when it makes sense for me. Like, everything I did in here, was me organizing. You see how this put boxes and things like that? But I feel like there's a better way to, to organize. And how I'm gonna do that is, ding, 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 Pinterest, duh. So when I move, I'm gonna type in under the sink organization. And it's gonna literally show me how somebody else organized underneath their sink. And I feel like if that makes sense to me, I'm not gonna make it up in my head. I'm gonna do it naked. So that's the goal when I'm right now. I'm about to go ahead and just get rid of like trash and like give away stuff, even though nothing should be gave away in the bathroom. But I'm getting rid of many things that I didn't use this year, such as this. I don't think I use this. This is my edge control when my hair is straight. So I'll just keep it. I definitely use this gel. I use this wax stick. I use all these lace glues. I use all these brushes because I lose them all the time and they make their way back and I'll be happy that I found them. Keeping this, keeping this, do they work? Keeping this hair thing, keeping all of these, period. It really needs to be cleaned out. I do need to buy some more rubber bands though because the last bit of my rubber bands. put this up. I don't need all these picks, so that one's gonna go in the trash. I never use that. I don't use that. Here goes the foam. I don't use this either. I probably will though with my natural. This is for my natural. I really don't want to be a, a hoarder, so I'm really throwing away things that I literally didn't touch the whole time I've been here. Because if I don't, that means I'm literally being a hoarder. I got this fan, it's hot outside now, so. A lot of stuff in here is just not in the correct spaces. It's like randomly put, especially all these like curlers and clips and stuff, they go in um, something that's under the sink.
really moving again. Like, girl, when did you go stop? Like, I know I'm young and turned and all, but like, girl, when you gonna be young and not turned? Because love this for my hair. Never use this, but I am. I use this. This is for like braids and braids and stuff. Um, I probably am gonna do my hair by myself one day, so we'll keep that. Here goes my pink shampoo. There's the whatever it's called, and there's nothing in there. Almond oil, I know. Um, I don't use this anymore. I do use Carol's daughter though. Here goes some mousse, curling mousse, <laughs> bio silk. Got to do this. Okay, spray. So got to be. This I'll be using on my curly wigs and stuff. All my camera did not, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm also gonna keep this Carol daughter. Actually, it's on that. I literally have a whole one right there, so let me just throw this one. Away. Look, I have more, more shining jams, girl. Why I got so many of these? Who, who here am I really gonna use these on? No lies. Like it's, it's inspiring me to do my hair. You can go. I'm gonna just keep these two. Edge booster. Oh, I'm about to say I bought a new one. This old, it won't even open. We got bleach. Don't know when I will use that, but I'll keep it. Toner. I mean, whatever. I don't forgot what it's called. Shampoo. I could probably wash wigs with this stuff. Cause I got I use Carol's daughter too. Here goes some more hair growth oil. What is this shampoo? Yep. I don't really use. We gonna throw this away. I feel like I'm wasting money. I'm not throwing them. Like, I even kept this one. I don't need both of these. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna keep both. <laughs> Got gloves. Here go all my clips. Okay, under here is all the things I'm gonna keep. And I very much do use most of these. Like, all of that's natural hair stuff when I do have my hair out. That, and then I have some more. But this is oil, quick weave stuff. Got to be bio silk. Like, all of this is, is usable. I threw away, uh, what are these called? Scrunchies. Y'all probably like, girl, why would you do that? They've been sitting there since I lived in my mama's house. That means I don't use them. And who I'm gonna give them away to? All right, so now let's do underneath this sink. Ooh, so I have lots of hot tools. I have this new crimper that I have yet to use because I just really don't be wearing my hair out as much as I used to um, and wearing wigs and stuff how I used to. Here's a dryer I'm going to keep. A blow dryer, I'm gonna keep its new flat iron keeping. Keeping, I don't need these bundles though. I'm realizing that I never reuse these bundles. And I feel like I'm wasting my money when I go there and buy new packs every time. So I'm probably going to keep this. Because I feel like I have a whole entire, yep, it's some at the top. Some here, ready for my next quick week. Um, now, as far as this blow dryer, she can go. My mama gave me this years and years and years ago. I thought it broke on me, that's why I got the new one. And I'm not gonna hold on to things. I'm gonna let it go. Cause I wanna keep it cause my mom gave it to me, but I can't, I can't, I can't. She just gave me many, many, many more things. Okay, boom. Here go my old crimper. We ain't gonna have this crimper no more. We are gonna use this new crimper that I got. I got two hot combs now. When I'm with my friends, we might need two hot combs. You never know. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two hot, hot, hot combs. Now this is floor cleaner for the. Why do you got paws on it? Floor cleaner. We're gonna keep this because I have a mop in the closet. My first curling iron right here. This go. This is the 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 blow dryer box for that fancy blow dryer right there. But we don't need it. And two more. I got some native deodorant. Not gonna use it. I don't really like native. I have two of these. This one's about gone. The other one's new, so we're gonna throw this one away. And then we're gonna put our freaking hot comb back. Here goes my makeup bag. My first official makeup bag that I had. And it has makeup in it, but I'm really thinking to just give this away because I don't use any of this stuff in here. It's really just sitting here, and it's just going to be at my new house sitting there. So, we're going to wrap it up. Bye. With everything that's in it, because there's nothing in there that I truly use. Boom. Woo, we're decluttering, guys. Grown woman teams. Now, let's get into this next one. This is trash for how the door. Okay. So, I have... 
doggy pads. I'm keeping those for my doggy. Um, I feel like we can keep everything in here, huh? This is Hazel stuff. She barely has anything. Like, I ain't even gonna attack her area like that. All that, all that we can keep. <laughs> she barely got stuff to begin with, so. Throw all this stuff away on the counter. I love candles from the place up the street. I've been getting them. They're like soy homemade. I need to get some more of these. I really just need to go back because I don't like this burnt stuff that's on here. I didn't know it was going to do that. So I would have got a color if I knew. But now I know. So I'm going to keep this. But I am going to go back and get another one too. Before we even get here. This box right here has been here since I moved in. Clearly, whatever's in it. I just lied to y'all. <laughs> this goes on my balcony. That has not been there since I moved in. But it damn near feel like it. This is trash. This breaks me out. This is eyelash glue. So we're going to throw this away. This is the... My mama got me some Venus flowers. These are the instructions. I don't need those. All right, here is some shower caps. Scent bird, baby, you gotta go. Um, this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. This, like everything in this drawer can go. Literally, I'm gonna keep these though. These can go. I'm gonna keep these. Hope. I'm gonna keep these because I bought them and I never did it. So we're gonna do them one of these days. All of this stuff can go. Even these makeup brushes. I have organic castor oil and roll on there. These my bottom eyelashes. Damn it. <sighs> Y'all, I'm hungry. Never mind. This is all staying in the bathroom. 
nails and stuff like that, staying in the bathroom, um, hair, obviously, hair tools, things like that. This is all pretty much staying. These throw this way. They're broke right here, so I have to buy some new ones. I'm gonna just throw them away. Mm -hmm. I think I told y'all earlier I'm throwing away like, all my toys. I'm gonna throw this one away. I gotta sneeze. This uh, is cool. It ain't cool, but it's it. Next is this linen closet right here. So keeping that. Even though there is literally no carpet at my house. Again, something that needs to go in storage, but something that I need to keep. If I ever get new pets. Here is a humidifier. I could use that. I never know if I'm going to use it. Um, toilet paper. Hand sanitizer. Flushable wipes. Soap. Wipes. We have alcohol peroxide. Gloves. Yeah, all that stain. This is going to go in my new bathroom. I'm so happy I didn't throw that away. Can y'all see? This is a shower curtain set. And I think, um, I need to get some new rugs. I'm going to get rid of these rugs. But what else do they have? Bubble wrap. Whoa. This is just random. This is my toolbox. I've been looking for this. This is it's kept because it's my toolbox. Um, here's a juicer. I'm going to use that. As far as these recipes, though, child, I know damn well. Let me look through these recipes. Quarter. Beef and cheese totaros. Chicken sausage. No. Chicken. No. Nope. Got cheese in it. Literally, all of this got cheese in it. Look. Mexican pork. Ew, No. Beef meatballs, no ma'am. Buffalo spice chicken, no ma'am. Garlic butter, no. Mm, no. Mm. This ain't that bad, but I might keep these out. That's a cute, that's a cute one. Beef, mm -mm. no. Uh, ew, all this pork. Mm -mm. These all backwards, so shit. Okay, we're gonna throw these away. We're gonna keep that one though. Shredded chicken bowl. That's my mop bowl down there. Boom. We're done. I am gonna go ahead and throw away these rugs though. They're not here. We're gonna get new ones. Yay! Is Z clutter. Okay, I had this since I was in college. People don't use it when they go to the bathroom, so but it's there for anybody. Um, now, as far as bathroom being clean, it's not clean. It's not straightened up. Everything in here is going in a box, period. So, yeah. This bathroom won't need a big box. It'll be like a medium-sized box unless I combine this bathroom with the other bathroom. But next to the other bathroom, that one's going to have a lot more things, I think. Well, not really. But then I'll be done for today because I'm only doing one room a day and then tomorrow i'm gonna do start my laundry and start throwing away like stuff out here and then we're gonna get to packing as well so i'll be packing soon i asked my friends to come i believe next week so yeah my goal was to just get everything decluttered everything that's left obviously is packing and going away so y'all don't have to ask me no questions just remember what room this stuff was in put it on the box okay so yeah but i don't really know how that's gonna go i might just have like unique Come on, uh, Unique Ava, but we'll see. Ayana, somebody will have to go get her. So, this really depends. Um, so, we're going to get into bathroom number two. I also need to think about what I want to eat. I really don't know, but I do. I am hungry. I am very hungry right now. And, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go in the second bathroom. No bag. And I just put the trash on the floor and then come pick up after. Because that bag heavy. But either way, I'm going to have to bring the bag. I'm being lazy. Let's get into it. And, oh, no. Tomorrow we're doing the room. I remember. We're doing the clothes. We're going to put the clothes on the hangers, but only put things on the hangers that I want to keep. This room is 
horrific when i moved like for real i have to keep this together my room never got done like i never furnished this house like i did my first one but anyway side note all of these jackets is going i went the whole winter without wearing any of these i'm keeping the ones i wear half of this didn't get worn all of these jeans i don't need but most of this stuff i am keeping here um the tennis shoes y'all i have to sell them because like i don't wear them i don't know when i would and i just like i don't want to give them away because i feel like when I get older, like I might want to get back into my young swag. But it's really just taking up a lot of space. Like I've changed so much since 2021. Early 2022 was which was when I was wearing that type of stuff. So it's crazy that you you grow like that and you really don't even realize. But um here is my perfumes. I'm respectfully not keeping any of these. These were a gift, but it was just the right thing to keep. Like, take them um, i have a lot of jewelry that i'm gonna give away because i just need to go real jewelry shopping like gold or just high quality not plastic but whatever it costs silver white silver i don't know most of this is stained it's like my pad stuff like my hygiene tuck things um pretty much staying um yeah and we're gonna get into this bathroom uh most of this is going though so let's just go ahead and get to it i'm gonna bring the bag and stop being lazy keep but it's just taking up too much space yep all of this is trash i found out this is bad for you this is trash i'm gonna throw this sunscreen away will i use it on vacation though this bad trash two brushes this tongue scraper this oh, to the next jet homie that's my next jet homie as a matter of fact i'm still a long day on that fix homie what I don't have nothing underneath this sink right here. Like, ugh. this is my personal sink. Nothing. Trash. All of it. Hey guys. So, your girl, it's the next day. Um, I'm about to go out and get me some food because I'm really hungry and I like to see healthy things on my timeline because it kind of motivates me to eat healthy. So, I think that's going to be what I do when I start to consider eating something bad. Okay? I think that will help me out a lot. But I'm about to put some clothes on. It is warm outside. So I'm trying to find something warm. The set. But I don't think I have any like summer or spring sets. They're all like cold and you know type deal. So I'm probably going to put, I'm going to put this on actually. I'm going to put this on. I think this is be cute. Um, it's a, what does this mean? <sighs> Someone's calling me. Hold on. Hey guys. Ugh. So I ended up putting on this fit. I went and got. This restaurant called True Food is by Lennox Mall. It was really good. It's actual, actual real healthy food. So it's expensive though, but it was really good. I still got some in there. I had got some of this curry bowl type of thing for dinner, which is like now, what well, dinner passed. Um, I don't know if I'm going to eat it tonight or not because I'm trying not to eat three hours before I go to sleep. And it's currently nine, going on 10, 11, 12, 1. I'm definitely going to be sleeping for one. But I just want to say hey to you guys because we're about to go ahead and get started in the next part of the movie vlog i need to declutter these clothes the trash is in my room things i haven't used things i'm probably gonna have to put in storage i need to figure out where i'm gonna get the storage unit i need to figure out how to book the task rabbit dude we have a lot of things to do i need to get my movie vlog situated what exactly is the next vlog after this one i don't know if this video is long or not but i do want it to be long so if it take me this whole movie vlog to get everything together that's what it's gonna be but hopefully not. Hopefully I can get um, footage in before then. Because I do want to split up my movie vlog or series at least two videos at this apartment. Unfortunately, y'all never got a furnished tour of this current apartment. I love this apartment. I really loved it here. I really genuinely loved it here. It's, it's a homey vibe. It definitely gives me home like, I don't know, like I could just see myself being here for two years but shit i already got the other place so how i'm gonna make the other place homey is i have to must have a rug in my bedroom because 
I have no carpet there. There's no carpet in that apartment. Nowhere. So I need a huge rug to go in my bedroom. So when I'm doing my bedroom, y'all will see that. I'm just going to have a mattress for the time being. My bed's going to come from Amazon. But I do want to order a rug before I get a bed just because it's easier that way. And I'm also going to need a dresser. So my bedroom is literally going to have like barely anything. But my living room would be done. My guest bathroom will be done. Um, I want to get new bar stools. I don't like those bar stools. That's one thing about this house that I didn't really like get up to par was like the kitchen bar stools. Because the kitchen was already done, y'all. The kitchen at my new place is going to be done. I don't know. I might change from black appliances to another type of appliances. Excuse me. But I really do love my appliances. And I feel like they go with every home. So I might keep my kitchen black anyways. Because my living room. Anyways, but for my master bathroom, I do want to change the mats and the whole entire, the whole decor. I don't really like the sparkle silver vibe I have going on in my master bathroom. If you guys want to know what this home looks like, literally just watch my first apartment furniture store. It's the same exact furniture except my living room. And y'all have seen my living room. I literally did the living room on camera. So, yeah. Um, that's what we're doing. What else? I don't know. The reason I'm leaving here, honestly, is because I'm young. And I feel like I should live in a high-rise before I get a house. That's really the real main reason. I do want to experience high-rise living. It's something that I've always wanted to do since a child. But once I got older and I got a baby, it just kind of slipped away. Because I have to figure out how to take her out. But where I'm moving to, the way that I'm going to be walking her, I feel like it's just going to be simple, easy, cool. Don't got to be on the streets. Another thing here is safety. When I'm outside, like I'm on the street and I feel like people can recognize my face. I feel like many people have recognized my face just didn't say anything. And I don't like that because we don't know where I live. Literally one time I was in a parking garage and a girl stopped her car and said, I think I just followed you on Instagram. The fuck? What? You, huh? So that's crazy there. Um, I feel like anybody can get approved here because I did. Um, Where I'm moving to, everybody can't get approved there. So it'll be a whole different, like, security level will be up for sure. Uh, and I think that's necessary for times when you are online and on, on social media and things like that. Uh, what's another reason why I'm leaving here? That's really it. Um, There isn't really big cons. One of the cons that I don't like is the doors are gray, but, like, I done got used to it. It ain't really doing nothing to me no more. But I feel like moving up to regular white and like my home is going to look a lot more sleek and stuff like that. Even though I really do love it here, but I'm leaving. Oh, it's dark in here. I don't have a view. Um, I definitely have correlated this house with bad habits such as my room looking a complete disaster. Never decided to get this room done. My living room, I work in there. I sleep in there. I eat in there. I do everything in my living room. My office is vacant. I do not use the office. I have not used that office since 2023 for real. I haven't used it all in 2024. We're three months in. That's a long time. So I feel like a new space would give me new opportunity. And at the new place, there's so many more amenities. There's so much more things to do and see. I can book people on my app. Like if I need help, if I need cleaners on the app. Everything's on an app. Massage, dog, um, hotel, things like that is on site. Like, I feel like it's just going to be a whole different experience. It's going to be a whole, like, a luxury type of living. And, yeah, so those are the reasons why I'm moving. The cons to moving is it's a lot more money. I do want to get a new car, so that's another new expense. But I do want to start a rental car type of vibe. So, we're going to see, like, because you guys know I want to rent my kid out anyway. So, everything's new. Everything's coming. I feel like 2024 is definitely my million dollar year. <laughs> I mean, I know it's my million dollar year, but I know it's the beginning of my consistent millions of dollars years. Like, 21 millionaire became a millionaire at 21. Move it on. Next, what did you say? Because the vibes and the drive that I have. Oh, it's my goal. The vibes and the drive that I have at this current year, and it's been consistent for three months, is amazing. And I'm just really trying this year. I told myself this is the year of doing. This is the year of doing. I'm doing everything I set my mind out to. And y'all just gonna watch the journey. Like, look, my little room is so beautiful. It's so messy, but it is a beautiful vibe when it's not messy. And I just am so excited for 2023. I can't wait to see what God has in store for me. I can't wait to strengthen my relationship with God. It has been getting strengthened for sure. The journey is not linear, but the journey is definitely consistent. Definitely consistent. And I'm super duper proud of myself and everything that I've been going through and working myself through is just getting me prepared for adulthood, livelihood, momhood, things like that. Y'all are going to see the whole 
journey. So if you have not hit subscribe, hit subscribe. And if you are currently watching at this moment, that means you really love me and you like me because baby, I be talking too much. And if it is, so comment down below, love, L-O-V-E. I want to see who watch far. It kind of just puts me in a space so that I can know y'all names. Cause I do look for the keywords. I look for the keywords and I see the names and I love to see consistent names. There's so many consistent names that I know. In my head right now, people who always watch me, never miss a video, things like that. And I just love that guys. It really makes me feel good about myself. It affirms me. Look at her. But this house, like, come on. I'm so sad. I'm thinking about moving. I'm thinking about me actually leaving now. And like, I loved it here. It's so crazy because the layout of the apartment I moved to is very similar. Like, when you walk in, you don't see any of this. It's like a hallway. So that's also gonna add to the home element of it all. I know that's gonna make me feel a lot more homey and how I decorate it. I want it to be warm. I don't want white lights. I want yellow lights. So if there's white lights up here, babe, they'll change. I'm changing their yellow because I don't know. That's make things feel more like home. But anyways, the kitchen kind of looks like this. Then there's an area over there, but it's all window. Like all this is window. The whole living room area is window. Um, then I'm gonna have an area, my couch in the same area, but it's windows behind the TV. Or I'm gonna turn my couch facing like the window. And we're sitting like this and the TV's gonna be on this wall. Um, either way, I can cook and watch TV. That's always been a concern of mine. I like to watch TV while I'm cleaning, cooking, anything. In my living, big living space, I wanna see it. If I'm doing laundry, I can pick my head out and see it. Period, point blank. That has always been something that I love. Um, I will no longer be having the cold in my new house. It's pretty sad, but I kinda learned more about like, I don't know if there's spirits or gods. I don't know what they are, but there's a lot of symbolization for the pole and a specific, I don't wanna say she is spirit, but I don't know what it is, I don't forget. It's like Ashira, Ashira, look it up. Ashira, spirit or Ashira god or something like that. Type it in and learn things because there's so many things in life that sim signify things that we don't even know. We're not even aware that we're doing, you guys. Like, we don't even know the certain things we're doing. Like, when we're in a strip club throwing money, we are worshiping Rain Man. Look up Rain Man. Rain Man. Look him up. You're going to see so many different symbolizations that rappers do that go towards that person. It, it scares me saying it, but like, um, Rihanna's song, Umbrella, um, just, just look it. Just look it up and you're going to learn. Seek your shot find. If you don't want to seek and you don't want to find, don't look it up because your eyes are going to be open and once your eyes are open, Open. You cannot continue to do certain things or you will be judged a lot harder for it. BT Dub. So take that with a grain of salt. Um, yeah, so the poll will be going bye bye. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get rid of the polls, if I'm gonna sell the polls or what, but I just don't really care to sell things. I, I don't know what it is about me that I don't feel like posting it and then meeting somebody. Like, okay, if I'm shipping it, we can do it all day. But having to meet you, it's just not good. So I'll probably get that poll to somebody. Maybe you need one. I don't know. Somebody gonna take poll. And it was something I never really mastered. I did do it for a little bit. It is a good workout. It is pretty fun, but it will not be something that I'm going to continue to do in my life. Time, okay, it's really fun, really creative, things like that, but not for me. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna take her outside and we're gonna get back to what we're gonna get. I need to put this salmon in the fridge because I didn't cook it because it was still frozen when I was hungry. But I'm about to go and we're gonna do the clothes. Um, that's all we're gonna do tonight. We're just gonna declutter clothes. I think I wanna start with my drawers just because my drawers look a mess anyways. And then I'll be able to do my closet. And then once everything's all decluttered, I'll be able to put my clothes that are on the floor that go in a closet in a closet and in the drawers and so forth like that. So yeah, and I'm gonna have to do the clothes again, the ones that I decide to wash and things like that. So we're not nowhere near done with that. But I think we have, we have two more weeks. Two more weeks left, so we are out, right? Yeah, two more weeks, and that is enough time. In my personal opinion, I feel like it is. Um, I am gonna start packing next week. There is no answer, but about that. And then the next following week, finalize everything, getting my TVs down, all that stuff. So paying money and things like that. So me and his about to go, and I'll see y'all. Hello, guys. So it is a few days later. I did not end up doing my clothes that night, but that is what I'm about to get into right now as we speak. So, guys. I seriously don't know what's going on like with me. It's it's actually pissed me off at this point, to be quite frank. And also, um, I ain't about to be talking too much but about these clothes. Well, I might, but in the moment, over here is giveaway and over here is keep. Just so y'all know. So, um, I don't know what it is. Like, I really don't know what it is like with me. But if you go and watch like previous video or I don't know how far how far it is off but my hormones are going crazy and this is something I don't really talk about this is something I really don't talk about that often it's something that I don't share because 
to me, it feels like a lot of people won't really relate. But I'm starting to think that that's not true. When it comes to your hormones, the effect that it has on your mind, body, and spirit is absolutely absurd. Because why would it ever be that hard to live? Why would it ever be that hard to have a good attitude? Why would it ever be that hard to eat healthy? Why would it ever be that hard to just get up and go work out? I just don't understand. Like, mental health and hormonal health have to go hand in hand. I already know how it goes. It all starts with how, um, it all starts with what you decide to put in your body, to be honest. And I have not been doing the best that I could with feeding my body best foods, you know? And I know me doing this consistently is going to help me in a long run. But as of right now, I don't feel the best internally like I'm overly hot like my cycle about to come on this is normal girl things but it's really not supposed to be like that like a little attitude here and there sure but your whole day feeling like a dark cloud is following you is not normal you not wanting to speak to anybody else is not normal especially a person like me I'm not the type to just be in isolation I love people, I love my people, I love my family. And the fact that today and yesterday and the day before that, I didn't want to see people. I didn't want to interact with people because they irritate me. Like, it's not even funny and it's not the best time for this right now. I'm literally moving. I'm literally building up income to do things, to get things that I don't have to. Okay, drawer is done. Building up income to do things later on. Wait, so that I don't have to do much later on. It's just bad time. And I just felt amazing. Was it in December-ish? Like, I have my moments, but this is coming up to be the second lowest time. Like, March wasn't, it wasn't the cutest, to be freaking real. And the last time that happened to me was last September. If you guys go back to the vlogs back then, I say it then, it shows up. I don't have anything to film. I don't have anything to show. Like, everything I'm talking about is fucking negative. Like, clearly, as you guys can see. And it's been pissing me off because I usually give my girls gems and tips and things that I've been learning lately. But I just have not been consuming any knowledgeable content for real i've been consuming drama videos devil videos like like what to avoid in the devil stuff like stuff like that which isn't empowering and positive you know what i mean so um, i'm gonna start with social media i'm definitely going to stop mindlessly scrolling i feel like that will really help me when it comes to just clearing my mind a lot of this i know i want to keep <laughs> So it's like, because I decluttered not too long ago. Yeah, I just don't want to keep mindlessly scrolling. Um, I've been doing pretty good with actually like moving my body, taking my dog outside, breathing in air, trying to eat better as of the last week. Um, It's just like, that's not consistent. But now I found a method that should work when I feel like, hmm, I want a brownie. Hmm, I want a cookie. The method is think of the life. Think of a life where I am free. I have lots of energy every day. I work out. I'm happy. I haven't cried in months. You know, think of that. And when I think of that, and I think of the people that I've seen do it, like on social media, I haven't seen anybody do it in real life for real. Because everybody I know eats terrible except my best friend Ayana, literally. It makes me have hope for myself. All the success stories that I've heard with what is wrong with me, that's what keeps me going personally. Now, before I wouldn't think about that, I would think about eating that donut. I would think about them chips. So I know this is where I got Hazel from. They gave me a t-shirt. It's my old best friend's uncle. He doesn't sell them anymore, I don't think. But, yeah. Yeah, that's my motivation to keep me going. And this, this how I feel right now. Me eating that would not add on to make this better. It would literally make it worse. So, and I also think it's really crazy right now because my body is going into a state of what's going on. We're trying to get these together. Um, we're trying to get our hormones right. She's feeding us well. Obviously, if you're balancing your hormones, they're going to move. They're not going to stay bad or they're not going to stay good. They're going to move up and down so they eventually are balanced. That doesn't look like me being happy, does it? It doesn't sound like somebody who'd be ecstatic when her hormones are literally moving to get right. That doesn't sound like it's supposed to be smooth sale i feel like the smooth sale is gonna come in about a month maybe by the end of february the middle of february once my period falls and stuff like that maybe that you know i think each cycle is gonna get better but as of right now it's not on my side it's totally not on your girl's side and if you new here and you said i watched all this and this made you feel a little bit closer to me comment down below close even if you've been watching me and this conversation relates to you so hard comment down below close because i tend to have a lot of positive energy if you guys do watch me i don't usually come in with this this is rare like me feeling low is rare it's 
it's rare even when I was eating the worst but I feel like it was because my body was just used to how it operated it wasn't in its best state but it wasn't messing with my mental for real it was messing with my physical it was messing with my mental occasionally these are too tight I don't know if they're still too tight though but I don't really want those I never wore this all whatever season so we're gonna try in the fall we'll see if it doesn't make it past that it's not gonna work this is very tiny and I'm trying to stay away from like overdoing it so that's going this doesn't even fit this is not cute this no this is too small and tight no um but yeah that's like my mini little rant and vulnerability conversation um I ate some salmon sweet potatoes and asparagus today I got a full sensitivity test last week so the results should be coming in this week but tomorrow I'm going to get a whole comprehensive lab test because she really wants to see like what my body's doing because she doesn't really know me the nutritionist doesn't know me my naturopathic doctor knows me but she's more so like for women's health the nutritionist is for everybody it's pretty universal she really is going to tell me like what I should eat will be good for my body I hope that's what she's going to do I do have specific concerns specific foods and I want to do specific oh my gosh I just saw the car I want and that was beautiful that was beautiful sorry guys <laughs> that was crazy but yeah I have specific things and I'm going to share those to her like I want foods that specifically do x do this it needs to do this don't just give me stuff that everybody eat I need things that will do this for me period point blank so that's what we're going to be talking about once that comes in I want I want her to, to make me breakfast have a section for breakfast a section for lunch and a section for dinner and a section for snacks and dessert because I do have a sweet tooth she needs to tell me something I could do period that won't harm me period this is too small this is from wait a minute she literally quite frankly mambles with me and a lot of people so it can be giveaway this I don't really like that this is just a black tank this is a black bodysuit this could be wearing this skirt I just have never put to use and I don't really know why like, have I really ever worn this? Oh, I did. I wore it for my birthday when I turned 20. <laughs> I wore it to my birthday when I turned... That's so crazy. When my 20th birthday happened, was, like, when a lot of bullshit, like, happened with, like, my old friends and things like that. And I was so young. Like, I'm young now. I'm 21 now. But that was taking place at 19. I really wasn't even 20. It was 19. I graduated at 17. It was just a timing in my life and how God literally steers you. Like, it's so crazy. I think I told you the other day my oldest friend is from middle school. But that's not my best friend. My best friend I met, how old was I? I met her at 19. But the way we met and the way we operate now is so different. Like, we grew together. We grew in the same direction. And I always tell her this. This is Ayana. We are soul friends. Like, it's not worldly friends. We don't do worldly things. We're not satisfied with each other in the world. We're satisfied with each other in the soul. And I'm not playing. Like, the conversations we have, what we desire in our lives, how we think, how we operate is so similar. And we live completely two different worldly lives. Like, how I live in the world and how she lives in the world is not the same. It's not the same at all. Like, we don't do the same thing in our day-to-day -day lives. But in the brain, in the heart, in the soul, in the mind, we are like sisters. Soul sisters. Soul friends. I pray somebody experiences, experiences that to the point where when it comes to worldly things, you literally don't connect. Yeah, we can go out and have a good time. But let me tell you this. Me and her are going to be the first two. I right, we out. We out. I don't want to drain. I ain't eating cheese. Mm, no, I don't want that right now. I'm not eating sugar. <laughs> like, that's just me and her. We're, like, so alive when it comes to, like, internal. And that's why I genuinely love her so much. I don't know how to else to explain it. But, yeah. Keep that. I wore this in Jamaica. And I've been getting, like, a lot of discernment about, like, clothes and things like that. 
and just things that I decided to do and indulge in. This was cute. I took pictures in it, but I was drunk, so they didn't really come out the cutest. I still think it's really cute, but I'm trying to see how I will be able to wear it in Jamaica again. Swimsuit cover up. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Wearing a black swimsuit with it. Period. That goes. And then this. Y'all can literally see through this. You can literally see through this here. You can, you can literally, you can literally. I threw away the top that I bought for it, so these can go as well. That's not giving swimsuit cover. I mean, it can give swimsuit cover. It can give swimsuit cover, but is it gonna give swimsuit cover? Probably not. I'm probably never gonna wear it as a swimsuit. Here is a, a BBL outfit. I'm gonna wear it. Because it's getting hot outside. That's about. Never going to wear this again. Here goes the Waitamins. Whatever you want to call them. I haven't worn this since I bought it. This is new. So we don't know if I'm going to wear it. I probably am going to wear that. Oh, here goes another skirt. Um, Here goes the bodysuit. This is winter stuff. I do wear it. Oh, it's broke though. So you can go. Um, This, I'm going to keep this. Really, no. Yes, business. A white skirt. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this white skirt, but if I ever have a photo shoot, it'll serve its purpose. This is when I wear Joker for Halloween. I'm not going to be Joker, even though I would never wear a purple skirt. So, And here is this pink schoolgirl skirt. It could go with a photo shoot as well. Boom! Those shorts are finished. We're quite literally almost done. I'm going to give this away since I have that other new shorts all of this needs to be going through as well so <sighs> let's get into that but yeah i feel the best when i eat the best when i'm in my bible when i'm in my word which i have been so it's not like the worst that it's been honestly um i also feel the best when i consume good content and i've been trying ever since like an hour ago <laughs> i'm trying to like consume positivity into my life learning into my life again and not too much entertainment. Entertainment is a guilty pleasure of mine, such as vlogs, just random things. But I am trying to get better, like, into actually feeding my brain, just to trick my brain into feeling better and balancing out everything. So, yeah, that's the vibes. And this is pretty easy because the stuff that's up here, I consistently wear. So I already know like what I'm keeping versus what I'm probably not going to keep. I will say, I think I told you guys this, I've been dressing better within the past year of time. Like last year, I was in Miami, I think, for spring break, just in like, regular and then as the year went on around fourth quarter of december was when i really was like okay we're gonna really jump into the straight leg we're gonna really jump into covered we're really gonna jump into keep my nails done doing minimal makeup like shorter lashes shorter nails cleaner makeup cleaner attitude reading all of that because when i started 75 hard and things like that so in my opinion i feel like life should be flourishing at this moment but i don't feel that way like no i feel like okay i feel like it's flourishing but and sorry guys y'all are my therapist today unfortunately you can click off or you can keep <laughs> you can click off or you can keep listening honey but uh i don't want this anymore But, yeah, life is going to flourish. I know that it will. I know that April, May, and all the months to follow will be a lot better. I do not plan on consuming much alcohol. It will be very spontaneous as far as sugar and cake goes. Besides sugars and drinks, but, like, cake, I really am trying to give myself six months. I am giving myself six months minimum for fast food. I'm going on month four, so we have two more months. I stopped eating fast food in December. January, February, March, April, by the end of April, no, by the middle of April, it'll be four months, May, June, six months, full-time 
no fast food we're gonna see how i feel in those months that's in two more months like two and a half more months and i think i'm gonna feel a lot better so we're gonna see how this ages because y'all like to say that in age well we're gonna see how this ages here goes all my robes i was looking for all of these because and i just put this on because i was walking around with no clothes on because every time i put clothes on i start i get hot Look at it. my forever roses are dying. I just got you guys. Why are you falling on the side? Whew. Okay, now this is my panty drawer. So either it's keep or trash. So yeah, we'll just um, keep on talking. Yeah, life should flourish. You guys give me a mini life update if you feel comfortable doing so. I do want to read it. So just let me know. This is trash, trash. I'm just gonna buy new period panties versus keeping these old ones because I'm literally moving. I don't want these either. I have lots and lots of lingerie. And I'm also changing the way that I look. I don't like this. Changing the way that I, this is broke. Look at sexual activities. I feel like they're supposed to be shared with someone that's good for you, someone that protects you, keeps you safe, and things like that. And so, I don't want this either. <laughs> These are too big. I lost weight. Um, and with that being said, sex is a no on my list at the moment. It's definitely a no. Right now, I do want to have a lot more mental clarity, a lot more, um, like, happiness and joy within and it will be in addition to my relationship and not just something casual and normal in a relationship. I want it to be more special. So that's going to take time to get there. I feel like that is a really big strengthening -er in relationships, that vulnerability, things like that. I feel like will really help a couple who is trying to become better individuals. So, that's how I feel about that. Partner feels similar. I, I wouldn't say his is the same exact way, but it's definitely similar. He definitely believes that it's something special between two people that love each other. But as far as a strength builder, I'm sure he believes it if I was to bring it up, but he never told me that before. Um, yeah, so we're both on the same thing when it comes to withholding at the moment. So... Yeah, they're not. Where are these? These are all draws. Some of these draws I've had for so long. Okay. All of that's done. So I can go back. That's the only trash. Um, this is them giveaway. Oh, this is cheap. This is cheap, cheap. This robe is going away. It reminds me of a terrible time. I don't want that rope. Um, what else? This is trash. Oh, middle drawer. We have one more drawer, and then we're going to get into the closet space. This is not as bad as I was making it out to be. I literally was procrastinating so hard when it came to this task, and I really don't understand what the truth was. This bag right here, can y'all see that? It's giveaway in itself. So when I take, and this has been here for a long time, this is giveaway and this is new giveaway as well. So I'm going to take these tomorrow in the morning when I go get my blood drawn for the comprehensive test I was just telling you guys about. But the um, natural, well, the nutri nutritionist, a lot of this stuff I've just had for years that I feel like is overdue and has served its time. I don't know. I didn't wear these. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to wear these this summer. This is cute. This could definitely be worn. I need to figure out how I want to dress classy in the summer. Like, what's the vibes, girl? What you're going to be putting on? What does that look like coming from you, Saria? <laughs> so, that's what we're about to do. Also, when I, like, when I move in, that's when I'm going to go ahead and go new clothes shopping. Just like how I went clothes shopping for the winter season. I bought a lot of, like, matching sets. I really, really love that's my type of outfit. I was thinking about just coming out with a business of that because it's what I wear. I don't know. A lot of girls are simple girls like me, basic girls who don't really care to dress up, like make something look crazy, like fashionista. I'm not into fashion. Sorry. I like to match. 
I like sets, but I know people who like to dress can wear my clothes as well. But it's really tailored for the girls who just want something that goes together. It's easy to put on and it's cute while you do it. Versus like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out how to pick out an outfit. Like, I don't know. I feel like it would solve a really huge problem and I think that would be a good business. But it is going to take a lot of willpower and that's not something that I'm in the space to do at this current moment, to be honest with you. I feel like I can keep these. I can see myself as a mom still wearing these and say, I had these since I was 14. See, that's the type of mindset I have on. These can go. When I'm thinking about, like, clothes, these can go, too. Here goes some shorts. What's this? Ooh. Here goes some pajamas. Boom! And this dresser is going in the trash. She's out of here. Now, exactly, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get this shit out of here. The mover's offering $100 to move it, to throw it away, which is crazy. Why is it $100? Like, $50 is cool. But $100 to move a dresser? That's crazy. And even $50, I don't think about it as crazy. Like, they charge $99 minimum. What the fuck? It needs to be per item, honey. It needs to be... Dealing with it needs to be custom quote price. It needs to be call for inquiry. It don't even need to have a you got junk you want to throw away. Let's inquire. Ask me a question. Email us. Like what the fuck you mean nine nine dollars? That's gonna run people away. I don't want to pay you a hundred dollars to move this shit downstairs to the dumpster. Quite literally. Like I wish I had so much more men in my life. I wish I had older brothers, a thousand of them. I wish I had a dad that came to my house every other weekend. Like I just. Wish I had an uncle, at least. I don't even have a fucking uncle. I don't have an uncle on either side of my family. I have uncles, but they're not my uncle. Sorry, y'all. The uncles that I do have are my dad's uncles. They're not even my uncles. So, like, who's going to move this big-ass dresser? All right. Woo! So, the clothes are done. So happy about that. Also, when I move, I need, like, hangers for my robes, y'all. I have so many robes. It's quite crazy like i love robes i don't know why i just didn't hang the thing on the door and i have a thing that goes over the door that you can hang stuff on i don't know why i didn't do that the whole time i would just have them randomly like on the floor on a dresser like i have a lot of robes that's three right there i have one on the bed that's four i have a versace one that's five i have a white one that's six i have six robes six robes in my home that i use literally all of them see ayana just said hey i love you like who you know Please, please be for real. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? I also been fucking starving and was stressed out about this website for this new like business idea that I have. I wanted it launched in April, but I really don't know exactly how that's going to work out. I just got new email marketers. They have to really like understand what the business so they know like how to email market and things like that so we're in a state of like building like i said i'm on month two of this new business model um i'm selling them for your digital products so it's digital products that are literally already made for you some of them have master resale rights meaning if you bought a digital product from me you could literally resell that digital product to your community without having to create it you learn from it and you can resell it as well and take away 100 percent of the profit um i think that that's amazing but it's just a lot going on right now, especially with my brain. It's kind of hard to make posts, even though the posts are pretty easy. But the captions do take brain power and willpower to come up with. And that is, I would like to say that's the hardest part of the whole entire business is the captions, which ultimately is your skills in selling and marketing. So, and copywriting, like how to type and word things, like it's just a lot. But yeah, y'all. Yes. Now we need to move on to the closet. I'm about to drink my tea. This is spearmint tea. It helps with balancing testosterone. So if you have hormonal acne and you feel like nothing's working, no products are working, this is, might help you. Go buy it on Amazon. It's literally spearmint tea. I get it from, what brand is this? Traditional Meta, Medical, Med Medicinals brand. Um, but I am about to go the loose loose tea route, loose herb route, because I want to get a tea that's not just spearmint. I want it to be looking all over my ear. I want it to be um, other help for art. Every time I talk, 
she looks. I want it to be helpful. <laughs> Why are you doing? I want it to be helpful herbs, not just spearmint.
But hating on people, you usually want it. I don't really care. It's just loud and too loud to me. Uh, I feel like there's a time, and a car show is a time, to rev your car. Because clearly, like, most of the people there really like it. And they'd be interested in it, but... That's why you've never seen me there, because it's just not an interest, and I haven't really dated much, yeah, really nobody. That, that's, ouch, that hurt. That's their core interest either. So, for all the girlies who dated car guys, I know it's a lot of you guys. How was that? Do you enjoy loud cars now? Is it because I don't hang with car guys that I don't understand, or what? This is so after. I ain't gonna say later because if I don't do it now, it ain't never gonna keep doing Alright, now let's move on to the closet. Okay, as you guys can see, all of this is going. Like all of these puffs you see is going. But I am gonna start in this corner right here. This is going. I literally never wore this. I don't see myself ever wearing it. It was supposed to be for church. But this wait a minute dress has definitely served its purpose. I might wear that. Okay. Everything else stays. Now this can stay, this can stay, this can stay. And stay. I do wear a lot of my black hoodies and stuff. This can go. This has been around for many, many years. This is this can stay. This puffer can stay. I feel like these accessory pieces can stay. But this can go. So cute though. I might keep this just because of the green. <laughs> this green is too bright. Not my style. It's not gonna wear. This was in the giveaway pile. I don't even know how it made its way out of it. I'm keeping this. It's first from school. This can go. You served a long time, but it's time to let go. Um. about the remaining yep feels good to me nope no let's move on down below i just got this just got this i'll keep this because honestly it might go with the outfit one day i've worn this so many times finally got pictures in it so it can go this can go this ain't even cute i don't even know why i have it i don't remember what i bought this for Had this for so long, it served its purpose. As far as these pants, child, oh, these are white. Okay, I'll keep the white pants, but these ones, I got a collab, and I was like, I just need one more item, and those just randomly ended up in the cart. These white ones can definitely serve a purpose, so we're gonna keep. As far as, oh, I've been looking for these, bro. These, I feel like I could find something on this. Mm. Now, these skinny jeans, not really the vibes anymore, for real. I've had these since, like, high school. I'll keep them. <laughs> These I can keep, you never know, some slacks. Those used to be my job interview pants. 
What are these? These are sweatpants. This to be good. Now these, I don't know. I doubt I'm ever gonna put those on. I'm not even gonna sit here and play. It's just really not my vibe. Right. Clothes are out. The shoes, honey. The shoes is its own thing. I have lots and lots of shoes. I'm going to keep them all for now. <laughs> but here goes the closet um, giveaway. Beautiful. It is definitely beautiful if you ask me. I am completed. I completed my... Oh, no, I didn't. I have some clothes right here. I'm going to do these clothes. And y'all can just watch me while I do those. Because I am about to watch TV. Actually, it's 12 30. Um, I'm out the house at the moment. I was gonna go get my blood drawn, and it's supposed to be fasted, y'all. So I haven't ate. It's 12 32. They just closed at 12 30. It's inside Emory. I'm not gonna have, I wouldn't have had time. I arrived at 12 28, but it's gonna take me two minutes to get up there. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. If it was standalone, I would have gave it a try. So I went ahead and dropped my giveaway off to Goodwill just now. They literally just took it out. Um, I do want to start giving away. It, it came to my mind right when I got there was, I want to give this away to different people. Because they Goodwill, they just literally just redo it to sell it. <laughs> they sell it at a lower price, but I mean, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm very irritated right now. I'm not trying to be because my cortisol on my test is going to be spiked up high. But it's supposed to test the hormones for the last six months. But I don't know. But if I have to be fasted, then it's definitely testing them at that moment. And my cortisol is going to be high because I'm about to go get boxes first instead. Just the past time. I get to Lowe's at 12.45. Then it's going to be 15 minutes back. That's the update. Energy is low. I don't have any food in my system. All I did was drink a little bit of water. The girl is really having a hard, rough time. For real. Hello, guys. Sayer. I'm going into Lowe's right now. So, I don't know where they move stuff. But I didn't really think about getting a new camera. Um, so, anywho, when I leave here, Lab Corp, that's where I'm getting my blood drawn, it is 25 minutes away. And when I get there, it'll be around 115, 120. And they open back up at 130. So, good time here. Only thing, I'm just really hungry. It's a lot of stuff here. I can't wait to buy a home one day or make a home and do all this fun shopping. That's a different level of secure in life. Because right now, baby. Where are the boxes at? All right, you guys. Here goes medium. Pretty good size, I feel like. I'm gonna get one, two, three, four. I'm gonna get five. Because I bought 10 large. I have 10 large for whatever the fuck reason. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna get five because I originally wanted 15 boxes though. All right, you guys. I'm at this healthy restaurant called True Food by Lennox. And I came in here the other day and ordered to go. But I'm gonna sit down today because I don't have Hazel with me. Hi. This one. Okay, y'all. But yeah, it's like this healthy restaurant. Um, I'm about to see what they got on the menu. I'm upset that, that I don't want to sit in a chair. I want to sit on the food. Let's see. Okay, so they have grass-fed steak. Okay. If you come here, it's expensive. So well, don't think, come here thinking you're not spending a lot of money. Um, it's very expensive. Um, they got grass-fed steak, sustainable salmon. I don't know what that is. Not your mama's meatloaf. What does that mean? I haven't had meatloaf in so long. But I also want to get a salad. Though. They have pizza, burgers, 
entrees, things like that. So I'm about to pick what I want and I'm gonna let y'all know, but I don't really know what I got. I don't want to. Okay, so I'm either gonna get meatloaf. Last time I got the OG grass fed burger, vegan double cheeseburger. Wait a minute. House made portobello, grilled chicken and mozzarella, rice mozzarella, grilled chicken ranch wrap. I love a good ranch. I don't know. Let me look. Today is gonna be a salmon filled day. I'm getting salmon for lunch, AKA breakfast. And then I'm gonna eat salmon again for dinner at my house. But I got the guacamole, a side salad, and uh, sustainable salmon. If it tastes good, let's see if it tastes good. This shit is expensive as hell. Y'all gonna see how much I pay. Okay, let's see. Ooh, look at street tacos. Wait a minute. I think I want street tacos. I love this taco. It's becoming a new phase really quickly. Like, I love hot dogs, but I'm gonna replace hot dogs with tacos. Okay, let's see. I want some more lime and salt. It's not that bad, though. I need more lime. All right, guys. I don't mean on this recording, but here is my salmon. I don't know what that pink stuff is, but I have to get to it. The guacamole really don't have no flavor for real. I don't know what they did with that. I feel like I could make my own guacamole though for real. I ate all my salad. That salad was really good. The guac was pretty. It was okay, but I'm gonna eat my salmon now. It's different. Roasted sauce ain't good. The salmon is just very different. two hours y'all I didn't vlog because I forgot and I was talking to my friend so Ava came and helped me pack up so I will show you guys the work that's been done but the room did not get touched so the room is gonna be all on to me that is my tackle I have one more box for the kitchen because I still have like my food in the pantry and stuff like that so that'd be my last box but these are all the done boxes um of course this doesn't go in a box that doesn't go in a box that doesn't go in a box but my purses and stuff like that do I'm gonna put them back in their respected Louis boxes and stuff just to keep them safe that's how I'm gonna do that and then the other purses have their own box as well that I have to do I have a lot of large boxes left I have one medium box left I'm gonna have one two three four five large boxes left I'm gonna use one large box for this kitchen I'm gonna use one large box for my purses and things like that and stuff like that so i think i have enough boxes i might have like an extra one or two boxes but it won't be extra because i'm gonna find something to put inside the boxes whether that's shoe boxes like just small boxes so it's not a lot of workload on the movers um i have three suitcases so we're gonna get them suitcases filled up with stuff but let me show y'all i'm about to eat lunch even though it's four o'clock i'm about to eat lunch and then i'm gonna eat again in two more hours at Six o'clock, me and my boyfriend, y'all can't see, are gonna go eat lunch. Okay, so this is still here. So that's also gonna go in my big box. This is gonna go in my big box. This is gonna go in my big box that I have, obviously. But my drunk drawer, junk drawer is not no longer junky. And I threw away a lot of stuff out of the junk, junk drawer, so that's really good. Down here is empty. My silverware. Under here is done. Oh, there's my this ain't done but other than that it's my aluminum i'm gonna put it in here for this one down here it's done this is 
done. This is done. This is done. I'm so happy. I don't think I have anything up here. Um, this is still here. So all this is gonna go in the big box, the big and final box, and I'm gonna pass on pack on the last day. Um, and then we have refrigerator stuff. Obviously, this is gonna go probably with me in the car. And then freezer stuff, so we can just get there quick. Or even on the last day, like my last day here, I might even move that stuff last. But this is dishes. I have dirty dishes, so they're obviously going here too. And underneath here, it's still there, but ain't really much in here. So this will probably get packed along with my laundry, my laundry room, and this, and this as well. It's probably going to all go in one box. So that's one box, two box for the kitchen, one box for my purses, and any miscellaneous stuff out of my room. Like even that stuff. I don't really know if I want this small white thing right here, honestly, but we'll see. Um, Cause when I move, I don't know if they're gonna be able to mount the TV where I want it mounted at. So if they can't, then I'm gonna just put it on the ground. But that's way too low for no TV. So yeah, but as you guys can see, a lot is done. Let me head over here. Here is my games. My games, I love games. My games lived up top, but this stuff doesn't have a box, so this stuff's just gonna get taken, like the vacuum and the mops and stuff, so that's done. This is all done. I never realized how much stuff I really have, y'all. But these boxes, I mean, not boxes, this furniture is staying out. I might put that in the box. I might just take that in my car or something. The mirrors, and then I'm gonna get those taken down by the man. Hopefully he'll do it. If not, I really can do that myself. Um, That furniture's coming. All of this furniture's coming. That's coming. You don't put this stuff in boxes. This is trash. I do not want that. Um, here goes. All these boxes are coming. These are my planners and things like that. And then in here, we're pretty much done. Um, I'm taking that with me alone. That's going to be taken by them. All of this is going to be taken by the people. This is trash. That's my prom dress. And that's a pregnancy belly like for video. I really need, like I told y'all, I need to open up a storage space for real. Because I'm only staying at this apartment for one year. And I came to that conclusion because it's so, it's really expensive. Well, it really depends. It depends on where I'm at financially and mindfully in 13 months from now. In 13 months from now, if your girl is certified millions, I'm just gonna stay. It really just depends on the vibe. Unless I really didn't like it, then of course I would be leaving. Of course I'll be leaving as well. But yeah, I need a storage space for my forever home stuff. Like all my memory stuff, things like that can go in a storage unit. But this room is done as well. I just have to do some taping up, final, final taping up. And then here goes the bathroom. So all of this stuff I'm currently using. This is a braided wig. <laughs> oh, she packed everything. I don't even know. All of this is gone. Nothing. There goes some stuff. And then we have nothing in here. My shower, look at how that's messed. That's gonna be done last. Obviously, I have to do a cleanup. I'm gonna do a whole cleanup. Or I'm gonna hire somebody. <laughs> Me don't know which one yet, but probably not because I'm spending a lot of money when it comes to this move anyway. So we're probably not gonna hire anybody. We're probably gonna clean up ourselves, but everything is freaking packed up. All we gotta do is my bedroom and the last final box in this laundry room, kitchen. So yeah, I'm done, y'all. I can I can chill. I can breathe. I don't have to worry about. Oh my gosh, I have so much left to pack. And her helping me pack just realized, like, helped me realize that I don't need to pack alone. And I don't have to pack alone. Like, I can find at least one person. She was that at least one person. <laughs> to help. Because when people are available and you ask them, they're going to come through. Because that's how I am. If someone was to have asked me, dang you on four grams. If someone was to have asked me to help them pack, uh, I would have helped them if I was free. So, unless I'm not free, then no, but... No. I'm excited about that. Also, when I move in, she said she'll be able to help me. I'm also going to tell everybody who wants to help me, like, move in what day I'm doing. I feel like it'll really help everybody in their planning. So, that's what I'm really about to do right now. But I'm about to eat this lunch and finish watching this podcast that I've been watching. And eat my salmon from yesterday for lunch. And it's crazy because I'm going to the same restaurant for dinner, guys. I'm going to get a burger, though. I think I'm on a burger this time. I woke up to no bloat. I woke up feeling good. Like, who is y'all saying? I was just so sad at the beginning of this video. And my temperature's dropping, so my period about to fall. So those are all the things of being a girl, how fast and easy and quick things happen. What was I just saying? See, 
But the brain fog still there. That's our next thing to get off the brain is the brain fog and just stress management. I think I'm doing pretty decent at that. But yeah, guys, that's a mini update on the moving process. And we'll be starting our second vlog really soon. I'm excited about that. So yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. Woo, hey guys. So it's a few days later. I'm in the bed chilling. I have three more days and I have to be out. Well, not, yeah, out and completely done packing. Again, my room has not been touched for real. Um, But I plan on doing that on Monday. So Tuesday's my last day. Like that's when I'm gonna finish packing, be done packing for real. And then on Wednesday is when I get my keys and then the movers come on Thursday. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna do like all my tours and things like that. But I am bored right now and I wanna talk to you guys. I will start a new vlog, but I don't wanna start my new vlog talking the head off. So y'all already here, y'all might as well. Oh, no so i have been in the bed chilling my energy has came up so much better i feel so much better inside at the moment um i'm attacking my quarter two goals um because i have pretty much i haven't knocked off my to-do list there's two things on my to-do list that are very important and i still have yet to do so yeah but i really don't want to work anymore it's 7 35 i want to be asleep within two hours okay i'm still okay i'm gonna do the work i'm gonna do the work when i'm done talking to y'all but for quarter two this was my quarter one goal which was three months and it didn't but it stopped saying fucking bad words ah! and to do that for every curse word i say i have to flick myself and restart the sentence period so i just put the rubber band on me to keep it on i hope this doesn't have any chemicals in it i might wash it and put it back on because uh-uh i don't need to have something i don't need it to have something in it i don't know what they talking about how are you can you post the first video okay so my travel content got approved for Miami, so you guys gonna sit down on Instagram because I'm trying to be a travel creator, be my travel bag, be my lifestyle bag, all them things big. And I know it's gonna be that for me because period. And it's quarter three, so I might get into, tap into like, you know, reaching out and stuff like that. Um, So yeah, that's what I wanted to come on here for y'all. And I also want to find a Bible study group because really what came, what made me come to this conclusion, I'm sitting in my bed like, I don't have nothing to do. I'm over here trying to fight my sleep because it's seven o'clock. I don't want to take a nap and then be up at 10 and up all the way till three, four o'clock in the morning. That's not the vibe. I'm trying to get my my body together shout out to this book called in the flow i'm gonna share this with you guys once i'm like moving in and things like that when i'm chilling back in my regular day to day i've been thinking about how i'm gonna de decorate my room when i move and everything so we just been having some time to think and so yeah i was like oh i can look at my quarter two goals and start attacking them so next is bible study group which research communities communities online so um, that's what I'm also going to do. But I am just going to go ahead and get the work out of the way. I'm going to do the two things that I have been procrastinating. One of them I, can, I have to focus on. The other one I can do while I do something else. So the second one I'm just going to do just to pass one hour or something like that. But the first thing is probably going to take about an hour to do. And it's um, plan my videos for my mentorship. And next... I want to do four week vlogs and things like that. So we got to get that situated. I'm going to have a week vlog posted on Monday. And I think I'm going to be posting those every Monday. And then we have this vlog that's going to be posted next Monday. Then we have another vlog posted next Monday. So that's how I'm trying to do that on here. It's 8 to 12 videos on YouTube a month. Um. So yeah, we're going to get that going. We're going to do our first weekend vlog probably next week. We're going to see. But yeah. I also need to get active on TikTok. So we are going to get on TikTok. We are going to start doing everything. Every time I post on Instagram, I'm going to post on TikTok. And I'm so happy I just reminded myself that. Because I posted on tic um, Instagram today. And I could go ahead and post it on TikTok. So that's what we're about to do. Because that's exactly what I told myself. Boom. Edit cover. Okay. Atlanta post period because i do need to get back on tiktok i do need to apply for the creator thing you can make money on live too what is this i don't even know how to work this thing creator tools creator reward program i have 71 dollars on tiktok tiktok shop creator what is this yeah i don't know nothing about this i don't really understand what's going on here i do need to get into it though because huh? collaborate with brands on paid campaigns Get paid for your creativity. Collaborate with brands easily and get paid when you create for campaigns. Check eligibility. I posted three videos or more in the past 30 days. I don't, I haven't done that. <laughs> Have a thousand real, vi real video views. Make sure your content follows. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't even posted. So we're going to come back to that. Um, yes. Yeah. 
So I don't really know what I'm looking at right now, to be honest, in my TikTok. But I don't be on TikTok. So we are going to get back on TikTok because there's a lot of stuff going on inside TikTok that I'm missing. And we need to get into it. Because every time I post a TikTok, it does really good. So I might as well just post the stuff that I post on Instagram, on TikTok. Because that's also on here to do. And I do want to come out with this new brand. But I think I want to do it later. I think I'm really going to drop in fall, in the fall time. I feel like that's the best time to drop this type of business. And that's when I'll do it. And I have all the new um, products and stuff like that that I want for it. I feel like that'll help. Um, and, and, and things like that. So... With that being said, I'm going to stop talking to you guys. I'm about to get up and go tinkle. And then I'm going to take my pup to use the bathroom. And then when I come back up, I'm going to start working on what I need to be working on. But I've been sitting on my ass for hours now. Sitting on my butt for hours now. Nah, no, that don't hurt hard enough. I feel like I'm going to just get used to it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get used to it. I feel like if it stops hurting, I'm gonna have to pull it far because that kind of teamed a little bit. It definitely, I definitely feel it. So hopefully it works. But these was literally um to hang all my clothes up on hangers and trash bags. So I also gotta do that too. So all of that's gonna get done on Monday, but that's gonna be all in the new vlog. I do want to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for packing with me and talking with me and getting everything situated. But the rest of the nitty gritty will be in the next vlog. I'm going to be, well, I already booked the movers, but I'm going to be doing everything like um, signing my lease, getting everything situated. So the next vlog is literally the moving vlog, the moving in vlog. And it'll probably end off with like cleaning or something like that. And then we'll go get into the next one. Blah, blah, blah. So if you guys have watched this far, comment down below. Moving because I want to know who watched to the end of the video. I love knowing and see you guys' names. So I will check in with you guys. If you're not already subscribed, press the subscribe button. And if you want to comment. Oh, make sure you like the video too. It's not that hard to like the video. And I will see you guys in the next freaking video. Bye.